Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. And then we'll get to the teaching of the word. Exodus 35, please, very quickly. Exodus 35. Now, as a ministry, we're launching a very big project, and I just want to launch it officially and announce to everybody, praise God, we've had discussions with the leaders and with our boards of trustees, praise God. We're launching, I want you to know that as a ministry, we're bracing up to enter the next prophetic phase of this ministry, hallelujah. The Bible says, and he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to my knees. And when I was faithful maintaining that level, he measured another thousand cubits. And it was to the ankle. Then he measured a thousand cubits again. Hallelujah. The reward for faithfulness is grace to do more for the kingdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says it is required of his steward that he be found faithful. This year has truly been a year of supernatural exploits. We have seen all kinds of things. God has humbled us with his mighty hands in our midst, both in this place and around this nation and even outside of this nation, the impact of the teachings, the impact of lives. We've had every kind of, I think the only thing we have not had this year that we know is the dead rising. Hallelujah. But we have seen every maybe major kind of miracle not just once not just twice hallelujah we've had whole families healed of hiv whole families genotypes changed these are verified miracles hallelujah it was it was amazing we've, we've seen different things uh, crusades outside this place and the meetings we have seen his grace hallelujah and I wanted to know that we are stepping into a new prophetic dimension of grace. Many of you who are sensitive to the spirit will begin to sense that there are shiftings and contemplations. There is an addition of grace to multiply and do great things for the kingdom. And this is all we live for. It's not one of the things we are doing. It is all there is for the kingdom. Hallelujah. So we are launching a project. It's called Project 10,000. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to launch it completely across the nation and all our members in diaspora. Hallelujah. It's a vision to raise 10,000 people who will sow a seed of 10,000 naira into the ministry. Hallelujah. We are launching into capital projects. We are getting into a lot of prophetic things. Praise the Lord. Okay, 10,000, raising 10,000 kingdom-minded financiers to sow a seed of 10,000 to support the next phase of our kingdom assignment. There is a lot to do. We are acquiring properties in Zaria, properties in Abuja, properties in Jos. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to be building. We are going to... Um, the demand on the ministry right now requires vehicles, not just a vehicle. Hallelujah. There is a lot... We're changing the whole, we're restructuring everything, praise the Lord. 
the media department will no longer be the way you know it praise the lord we are employing people standard media people we are taking the ministry to another dimension hallelujah praise the lord by the grace of god we are shipping in brand new gadgets completely new everything and we need a lot of support hallelujah koinonia has blessed hundreds of thousands and probably millions of people through the years across and it's an opportunity to let as many who will partner with us we just need 10,000 people already there are so many people who are excited about this vision we have incorporated every other project in the house into this project the Lord has given us the vision so we are just going to <clears throat> launch it officially this night Exodus 35 please very quickly there is nothing we do that is outside the jurisdiction of the kingdom I have studied how um, the tabernacle there are two major building or um, two major ministry capital ministry projects that were executed in scripture one was the building of the tabernacle hallelujah when moses began to build the tabernacle the second was the building of the temple when solomon built and both of them raised funds and i wanted to check from scripture how did they acquire the resources to build the kingdom of god hallelujah because there is a pattern in scripture and every time you follow the pattern of scripture god is committed to back you but every time you go outside the jurisdiction of scripture there is no divine backing exodus 35 we we'll read verse 4 and 5 21 and then the anchor scripture for this project will be verse 29 so let me read very quickly thank you jesus and moses spoke unto the congregation of the children of israel saying this is the thing which the lord commanded stop so the first thing is that the lord commanded hallelujah whenever you do anything that is commanded you will enjoy the backing of heaven hallelujah whenever you do anything we do not do anything in this place no matter the pressure except it is commanded hallelujah verse 5 take ye from among you an offering unto the lord whosoever is of a willing heart this is a key point whosoever is of a willing heart there is no compulsion in the things of the kingdom any system that puts pressure and compulsion on people is a devilish system hallelujah whosoever is of a willing heart let him bring it an offering unto the lord gold silver and bronze that was their commodity of transaction hallelujah verse 21 jump to verse 21 very quickly 21 and they came everyone whose heart stirred him up and everyone whom his spirit made willing and they brought the lord's offering whose offering not a man of god's offering they brought the lord's offering it says to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation for all his service and for the holy garments verse 29 this is where the anchor scripture is and we'll pray and we'll officially launch it hallelujah thank you jesus let's read together it's projected one to read the children of israel brought a willing offering unto the lord every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work stop how many all manner of work so it is a system that is consistent for any work that is done in the kingdom is that in your bible he says they brought an offering for all manner of work which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hand of Moses. So the project is executed through the vision of a man, but it is a command of the Lord. Are you seeing that? He says it is commanded, but it is to be made, to be brought forth, to be strategized through the hand of Moses. Hallelujah. So we are launching it this night. All are members kingdom financiers all the people that have been blessed from this ministry other ministries that have been blessed other people around and um we have made contact with a lot of people there are a lot of kingdom financiers that have been seeking for an opportunity to just bless the house hallelujah i've told you a big secret when we're talking about kingdom economics money does not make ministry impact makes ministry when you bless people they will be too grateful the Bible says there's no time we would have, would have read something very, very 
um, interesting. Let's look at 36. Just, just 36 verse 3. 36 verse 3. Let me show you how much because of the impact of the vision. They remembered how that God used Moses to bring them out of the nation of Egypt. You know, and all of these things. It says, and they received of Moses all the offerings which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it withal. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. Verse 5. Verse 5. It says, and they spake unto Moses, Bezalel, and all of the people. It says, saying, the people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make. 6. And Moses gave commandment that they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were even restrained. There is a way people can become so impacted by the grace upon a ministry that they will commit their all. And this is the assurance that the Lord gave me. Hallelujah. So rise up on your feet, everybody, even as we officially launch this. Praise the Lord. Please rise up everybody who believes in what God is doing. Just stretch your hands towards me and let's pray in one minute and say, Lord, Project 10,000 will be a huge success. We call forth all Koinonia people, all our members, all kingdom financiers, all those who love the work of the kingdom. In the name that is above all names, we call them forth for the work of the Lord for the next phase of this ministry we thank you there are angels that signify this word there is a backing from the throne we're enjoying abundance supply beyond imagination to do the work of the Lord in excellence and according to the pattern that has been delivered unto us go ahead and pray and prophesy and say Lord you're stirring up the hearts of willing give us across this nation across the nations of the world people are giving their best they are giving their all we prophesy and i like you to speak say lord a hundredfold return is returning to them there are testimonies of miracles hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord now there is an official account number. I want you to know that we're a very responsible ministry. Hallelujah. There is an official account number. Every seed, this is God's money. Every seed, we don't have any proxy people to give through. Every seed is communicated through our official ministry account numbers. Praise God. And the only other person that is authorized is the treasurer. Hallelujah. If you're giving in cash or your loved ones, please, I, I, I'll tell you how you'll be part of this now. Praise God. You just write project 10,000 and you just drop it. Or if you're giving, preferably, in fact, we highly recommend you just go to the bank and make deposits. This, this is our official account number. Hallelujah. As a ministry. Praise the Lord. You can have it. Please invite your loved ones. This is a vision that is worth being part of. Praise the Lord. We are excited about what God is doing and we are happy. It's a privilege for us to be part of what God is doing. All our, our members across Facebook, there are so many people. We just need 10,000 people. I know that there will be a lot more. Hallelujah. 10,000 people who will commit themselves and say, Lord, this is my contribution for the work of the Lord. I am giving because I love the Lord, not because any man is cajoling you. People threaten people with curses and blessings. It's unscriptural. The Bible says a willing heart. A willing heart. Hallelujah. Don't be emotional about it. Invite your friends, your loved ones, your pastors, your churches. Take the word. Hallelujah. We trust that God is going to do great things. Okay, the treasurer is Debbie. Where is Debbie? Come out quickly. Where is she? Treasurer, where are you? Hallelujah. This is the treasurer. Praise the Lord. So any other remissions for her, you just give her or you drop it in the offering basket. Hallelujah. So every time we talk about Project 10,000, bless you, my dear. 
this is what we are talking about we're just talking about a kingdom financing project we believe that there are many people that seek opportunities to be a blessing to the work of the lord hallelujah you are financing us to take the value system of the kingdom to the ends of the earth believe me what you are seeing is only a rehearsal by the time god is done with us he will give us wings and we will ride in a way that the nations will know that god has ambassadors praise the lord father we bless you thank you because you are the finger that has been behind this ministry right from day one i thank you father because that which you have declared in the secret place we have declared upon the mountain top you are the hand that has sponsored all our crusades in time past you are the mysterious hand that has taken this ministry through dimensions of grace you have supplied finance we have never lacked finance to do the work of the kingdom and lord i thank you because there are angels that have been sent the same mysterious angels that have taken our messages to the ends of the earth broken language barrier tribal barrier denominational barrier right now as your servant even as solomon stood before the temple i stand and lord in the name of jesus in the presence of your people i declare that as we launch this project let the angel that has been assigned to carry this vision begin to move with this vision across churches we call for the kingdom financiers that have been anointed to support the work of the kingdom we thank you because there is overflowing abundance we wrap this vision in the blood of jesus it will not be thwarted by fraudulent people it will not be thwarted by wicked people there are willing hearts to give and lord we thank you because a time will come we will even have to stop the people and say the resources are so much therefore we thank you in the name that is above all names we dedicate and we launch this project right now project 10,000. we give you a voice in the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ like the scrolls that the prophet saw flying we command and we instruct that a voice be given to you in the realm of the spirit you will go across the length and the breadth of this country and many who love the lord will be part of this we launch it right now in the name of the father we launch it in the name of the son we launch it in the name of the holy ghost for the advancement of the kingdom for the saving of souls for the redemption of destinies in the name of the lord jesus christ give god a big praise hallelujah praise the lord so invite as many inform as many sit down god bless you to join in this project and you will be greatly blessed hallelujah thank you so much thank you for being a part of what god is doing let's get to the word hallelujah can you pray in tongues in one minute we have to get into the business of the night Shebrakato zalakati alabako rato sabredesh Rekete pradus gibrendi jela kriya de dabosh Open our eyes, O God, that we may see Our hearts that we may understand All we want is you Take over Take over till we are consumed by nothing, nothing else but sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. All we want is you take over. a powerful series we are going to take a series on spiritual warfare i want your eyes your ears to be open i want to open you up to something amazing that will take you to another dimension of authority hallelujah praise the lord the devil is in trouble believe me the devil is in trouble at the end of this series you will catch fire 
something will happen to you the miracles that people celebrate you will see the dynamics of their operation from the realm of the spirit and i told you is our desire here that the least among us be as mighty as david gone are the days when one superstar comes and begins to do a lot of religiosity god is pouring out his spirit through the word we thank you lord in the name of jesus the weapons of our warfare part one the weapons of our warfare part one open our eyes oh god show us deep things in the spirit hallelujah second corinthians 10 from verse 4 to 5 4 to 6 that will be our theme for this series hallelujah and in this series i'll be dealing with five things please write quickly number one We'll be discussing on the reality of the spirit realm. I'll be opening us up to the reality that there is a real realm called the spirit realm. The earth realm is not all that there is. Hallelujah. The reality of the spirit realm. Number two, we'll be discussing the mystery of wickedness. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. We'll be discussing the mystery of wickedness. Number three, we'll be talking about the realms and jurisdiction of satanic operations. The realms and the jurisdiction of satanic operations. Number four, we'll be dealing with the weapons of victory. What are the spiritual arsenals that have been made available to the believer on account of the finished work of Christ? To keep the devil where he belongs. And the last discussion will be commanding victory. Semicolon or colon. Spiritual laws and rules of engagement. Commanding victory. Colon. Spiritual laws and the rules of engagement. I'll take it again very quickly. The reality of the spirit world. Our discussion will be around these five areas. We must not take them one by one, but we will touch on them. For this curriculum, I told you this is a school. So this is the course outline. Praise God. The reality of the spiritual world. The mystery of wickedness. Why wickedness? What is Satan really looking for? When people are destroyed, what does he want? Why the perversion? Then realms and jurisdiction of satanic operation. That there are laws in the realm of the spirit. Things don't just happen. Hallelujah. People don't just get into demonic oppressions. There are realms. There are jurisdictions. Please, this is important. I want you to listen. You can never command power in the spirit. When you are not aware of the Bible says. Do not be unaware of the devil's devices. The Greek word there is stratomai, his strategies, his methodology and his ways of doing things. It's not a mystery. Hallelujah. The Bible is a compendium of the activities of Satan through dispensations. So that when we, are about, when we study it, we are able to understand. And with that knowledge, we will have the authority to keep him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says how awe inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. And this power comes through knowledge. Hallelujah. The Bible says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue. So we'll talk of weapons of victory. The spiritual arsenals. Listen, listen, look at me everybody. The Bible says, Jesus speaking, it says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Everybody say keys. It didn't say I will give you a key. It didn't say I will give you the key. There are many spiritual arsenals. And all of them serve different purposes in the realm of the spirit. Are you getting me? There is a jurisdiction of the operation where the anointing functions. The anointing, as we know, doesn't just do everything. This is not heresy. 
There is the jurisdiction of the blood. There is the operation of the name. There is the power of the cross. There is the power of agreement. There are many spiritual arsenals. Are you following me now? And if we understand, whenever you see situations, at once you can read the handwriting on the wall and you know what diagnosis you can give and what recommendation you can give. Are you following me now? When you step into a family and you see an oppression of darkness and they are praying and fasting about it and it does not leave, with your spiritual intelligence, you know what spiritual tool to bring that will cause the devil to bow. This is what spiritual maturity is all about. Hallelujah. The Bible says, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 from verse 18. Don't turn there. It says, and I saw four horns. How many horns? Four horns. It says, these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Israel and Judah. These are the horns that lift up themselves, symbols of authority. Satanic forces stationed across territories. The Bible says, so that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters. These carpenters have been sent to terrorize these horns. Hallelujah. The carpenters are not men of God. The carpenters are citizens of the kingdom. Men and women, the saviors that the Bible says in Obadiah 21, that will arise from Zion and will judge the Mount of Esau. It's time for many of you to go into your homes with spiritual intelligence. No longer will you be confused. Things are happening and you just know the blood of Jesus or the power of the Holy Ghost or Holy Ghost fire. And after saying it three times, nothing happens and you are short of spiritual arsenals that you'll be equipped. The Bible says, he that escapes the sword of Elisha, Jehu will strike. There are spiritual laws. Hmm. Hallelujah. It is only based on that intelligence that when men are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. Because you understand the way the realm of the spirit works. Hallelujah. So part one we'll be considering, let's just start wherever we can stop. Praise God. Paul began to comment, he began to admonish the Hebrew church. Hebrews chapter 5 please from verse 14 or from verse 11. Hebrews 5 from verse 11 and then we'll go down to chapter 6 verse 3. Paul was busy speaking to the people and he was disturbed because he wanted to communicate certain deep spiritual things. Let's read verse 11. It says, Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing that ye are dull of hearing. Verse 12. It says, For, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers. That means I expect you people to have risen to a dimension that you can begin to communicate these truths that you understand. It says, Ye have need that one teach you again. The first principles of the oracles of God. It says, And have become such that have need of milk. That means there is milk. Are you getting my point? And there is strong meat. Hmm. Verse 13. For everyone that uses milk is what? Unskillful. You are a Christian. You are born again. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. But you are unskillful. That means you do not have sufficient intelligence to make use of the spiritual arsenals as at when due to the degree of their jurisdiction. The Bible says you are unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe. 14. But strong meat, kapalakata, belongeth to them who are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern. That means when they see things, they don't judge the way men judge. They judge in the light of an information that they have about the realm of the spirit. When you see somebody terrorizing your family, you know that no, you are judging. This is not about my uncle or my auntie. There are powers in the heavens and you know how to be able to bring victory. Not blaming uncle or auntie. When you see your father destroying you, you know that no, my father is a good man. There is something the Bible says, any man who just sees his neighbor and says it's my neighbor that is cousin is a babe. He does not have sufficient spiritual intelligence. 6 verse 1. That's the end of verse chapter 5. 6 verse 1. He said, therefore, on account of this need,
seed that I've created. On account of the fact that there is an urgency in the spirit for you to rise from the realms of being babes, being taught certain certain things in the realm of the spirit that will not make you carry authority can i tell you something brothers and sisters i say this and i say it with all humility there are many teachings in the body of christ that will make believers remain babes and if we remain in that realm we will die although we are confessing that we are jesus christ we are, we are the disciples of jesus christ and so on and so forth there are many teachings that are good but if you do not rise, they become misleading. Because, see, this is why many believers stand helpless in the face of Satan. And we go back to we, the men of God, and the members come and ask us what is wrong. And we keep giving all kinds of crafty and childish explanations. The realm of the spirit is only threatened by the degree of light you carry. Malakatabora hmm. sataya. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection. That means there is a higher dimension. Thank God for the things we have studied. Thank God for the fact that, oh, you are this and that. Thank God for these foundational things. But Paul is saying, if we remain at this level, the sophistication of the realm of the spirit requires that there is progressive growth in understanding. If we must be ambassadors, there are people sick with cancer. Men of God have prayed and prayed and prayed. The people have died. There are people with HIV. Headaches have been healed. We have risen people from wheelchair. But why is it that some sicknesses seem to bow? There are laws we need to learn. Otherwise, those people will never be healed. Hallelujah. Let us go on to perfection. Not laying again the foundation. Everybody say foundation amazing that most of most of the teachings we brag about in the church and call rema the bible calls it foundation foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards god verse 2 and of the doctrine of baptisms and laying on of hands power the bible says it is even even that realm laying on of hands that we believe is the crux of success in ministry the Bible says it is a foundation. Hmm. And of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. Verse 3. And this is our prayer this night. And this we will do if God permits. Hallelujah. So I'd like you to pray right now in one minute and say, Lord, I refuse to remain at the level of knowledge that I've had. I contend for higher levels of revelation. There is a generation waiting for me. My family members are counting on the revelation I will get tonight. The devil is destroying people. There are territories that are dying. And if we do not contend, there are churches that will pack up and die for nothing. If we do not step in in these dimensions of spiritual understanding to know when to launch attack on the works of darkness and establish what Christ has done. Pray from the depths of your heart. We're tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than these. Tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than these. There's got to be more. Got to be more. There's got to be more than these. For desperate people do desperate things. And we press in need. Gotta be more, gotta be more. Help me say, gotta be more than this. Gotta be more, gotta be more. Gotta be more than this. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more. It's gotta be more than this. Listen. 
We are tired of burying people who should not die. We are tired of watching our families run away to herbalists as though the word of God is a lie. We are in this series. We are exploring to find answers. What is the answer, oh God? Why we have prayed and fasted about issues and it has not changed? Why am I still being pressed in the night although I'm born again? Why is it that I'm tightening? I'm giving and the doors are not opening. Can you pray for one minute? We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. Gotta be more than this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. My spirit is fired up this night. Hallelujah. The first thing I want you to know tonight, brothers and sisters, is that we live in a world that is controlled from the realm of the spirit. Never forget this for as long as you live. I began that teaching in the teaching, give me this mountain. I began to explain to us the spiritual dimension of life. Life is everything spiritual. Whether you believe it or not is irrelevant. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It says for by it the elders obtain a good report. The Bible says through faith we understand that the walls, not one, the walls, systems were made. Hallelujah. Are you following me now? I need you to know that the realm of the spirit is real. Whether you are an atheist, whether you are whatever, is irrelevant. There is a real realm that birthed this physical realm. That realm was in existence before Genesis 1 verse 1. The real spiritual realm with inhabitants Praise the Lord. There are realms beyond that which the mortal eyes of man can physically see. That they are not seen does not mean they do not exist. Ephesians chapter 6. Generally, theologically speaking, the book of Ephesians is considered by theologians to contain the highest spiritual truth that um, summarizes the entire scope of the activities of men. Hallelujah. From chapter 1 to chapter 3, in the book of Ephesians, it tells us how and, and brings us to the understanding of our right and privileges in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Reminds us that we are seated with Christ. The realities of redemption, the things that have been wrought for us on account of what Christ has done. Hallelujah. And so it lets us see that the entire journey of the believer is hinged upon the platform of Christ's finished work. That is on account of his death, his burial and his resurrection that any other thing that will happen in the kingdom will happen. So chapter 1, 2 and 3 helps us to expand. Paul tells us how that by revelation he understood this. That we have been raised up with Christ. Hallelujah. And then chapter 4 and 5 begins to tell us how that um, it begins to explain to us, you know, our work as a believer, our character, how to live in the reality of what Christ died to give us. So our work, chapter 1 to 3 tells us about our sitting with Christ. And then chapter 4 and 5 tells us about our walking. Then chapter 3 tells us how to stand. It begins to tell us that although Chapter 1 to 3 has already established the fact that all things have been brought under the feet of Jesus. But there is an enemy. There is an adversity. And because of that, we have to be trained to stand. Hallelujah. The psalmist, prophetically speaking about that, he said, blessed is the man who does not walk in the way of sinners, walk, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, nor stand 
So there is walking, sitting, standing. These are three prophetic postures in the spirit. Unfortunately, most people just know how to sit. Hallelujah. Are you following me now? Chapter 6 verse 12. Chapter 6 verse 12. The reality of the realm of the spirit. You don't need to have a vision or a trance to be convinced that there is a realm beyond that which you see. Hallelujah. Can we start from verse 11 please? Verse 11. It says put on the whole armor of God. Question. The same Paul that revealed to us in the Pauline epistles the revelation of our seated position with Christ now begins to admonish us. He said put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to what? Stand. Why will Paul say stand? Whereas he said we are already seated in heavenly places. Paul said we have been exalted far above thrones and dominions and every name that is named not just in this age but in the world to come. Now he's saying stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12 For we wrestle uh -uh. What are you saying again Paul? We are seated in a position of rest. Now you are talking of wrestling. He didn't say for we argue he said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. See how many times the Bible says against. It didn't say for. Against. 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 This is a contention. Look, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. This world is not a playground. Don't let films deceive you. Whether you believe it or not, there is a rude reality that every man born by a woman must face, especially in this day and age. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, where? Where is the location called high places? Stop. Help me. Use your Google map to show me a location called high places. Where do we find it? But the Bible says, there are planes in the spirit called high places. Where is it located? Geography students, scholars and intellectuals, help us. Where is the spiritual location called high places? Other versions say heavenly places. I told you, there are heavens and there is heaven. The Bible says the heaven of heavens. That means there are other heavens. We discussed that already. I don't want to go into it. The reality of heaven and hell, we touched that. Many people have gone to all of those astral realms and come back and told us they went to heaven. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? There is a real realm, brothers and sisters. There are astral realms. There are people who live in this earth who travel there and come back. They go to get power they go to get wealth, real spiritual realms. By the grace of God, I've had the opportunity to minister to probably thousands of people. So I can tell you from the truth of God's word and from experience. There is a real realm. Are you listening to me? There is a real solid realm. The Bible calls Satan that old where was he living before Adam came? Because the Bible does not tell us he's young. He said that old serpent. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everybody said the realm of the spirit is real. I want you to also know that the realm of the spirit is not heaven. The realm of the spirit has all, there are demonic realms, demonic dimensions in the spirit. So if you are caught up in the realm of the spirit, you will just believe that you will see streets of gold. No, sir. You will see a real atmosphere like this. It's just that it is not solid and material. And it is not bounded by three dimensions. I have been there. It is not drama that I read from a book. In the realm of the spirit, there is no time and there is no distance. The concept of time and distance is the concept of physics. 
Isaac Newton developed it in mechanics to help people relate with the things. A process. But in the realm of the spirit, it does not exist. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. At once. At once. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm sharing? Please do. Hallelujah. Another strange location. Although we use it prophetically as anywhere the believers are. Where is Mount Zion? Because the Bible says, ye are come to Mount Zion. That means you can come. Where is the location of Mount Zion? I'm not talking of geographical Mount Zion. Hallelujah. There have been many findings in our world today that the world has not been able to offer sufficient explanation. One of it is the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. Many people have been able to seek all kinds of explanation. Why is it that there is an intense magnetic field around that region that will wipe away everything at once, no matter how heavy it is? What is it about this strange thing? What is it about tornadoes and hurricanes that sweep across nations? How can a wind remove blocks and kill people? The spirit realm is real. Brothers and sisters, it's as real as this realm. As we are in this meeting right now, there are angels in this place. There are a lot of angels. The angels that have been sent to guard you because every child of God has angels. Once you are born again and you are in Christ, as a matter of fact, even when you are not born again, there are angels. Hallelujah. There are angels. I can prove that to you from scripture. Remember the Bible says when Peter was bound, the Bible says the apostles were praying. Is that true? When they were praying, the Bible says an angel came and took him out of the first um, barricade, second, third, and led him. When he came and knocked the door, they opened the door. They said they thought it was his angel and they closed it back. So we have angels. Second proof, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister to they that be the heirs of salvation. And the Bible says we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. So there are angels. There are also demon spirits. Yes, they are listening to me right now as I'm talking to you. The unfortunate thing is that many of them could not come this far. Because there is always a wall of fire that surrounds the people of God. I'm opening you up to the realm of the spirit. So that you begin to walk with this consciousness. I never walk alone. Never ever walk alone. There are special angels that follow us. When we are going for certain ministrations. They are angels that guard revelations. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The Bible says he sent it and signified it by his angel. There are angels that guard the safe delivery of revelations. I am come to give thee Daniel understanding. There are angels that are signed. There are different strata and levels of angels. There are ministering spirits. This caliber of angels walk among men. They walk among men. There is the northern army of God. There are all kinds and varieties. There are seraphs. There are cherubims. There are messenger angels. Different strata of angels. There are not just angels like that. Satan was one of those cherubs. Let me surprise you. The opposite of God is not Satan. Don't insult God. The opposite of God is not Satan. In scripture, God weighed Satan and put angel Michael to handle him. It cannot be God. Twice there was an encounter. One, the mystery in heaven that was shown. Are you listening to me? From the foundations of time. The war in heaven. Michael took care of Satan. The second encounter was during taking the body of Moses. Satan came to claim the body. And Michael said again, the Lord rebuke you. And in the end time, in the, in the last battle, the Bible says that Michael will be released again. 
Hallelujah. And so there are different structures. There is an organogram of angels. There are angels that are in charge of praise and worship. There are angels that are in charge of prayer. They take the prayers of God upon files. All these things are in scripture. I'm not talking about the angelic realm. I just want to open you up to the reality of the spirit realm. When you are still in, there are demons watching you. Hello? There are angels watching you. That is the reason why Satan has been able to give himself a name called the accuser. Why is he the accuser? He has a vast army station that monitor the activities of believers part time. Are you aware of that? Praise the Lord. So the realm of the spirit is real. There are four substances that were borrowed from the realm of the spirit into this realm. This is why science cannot fully understand them. Number one, light. Light is not just a physical substance. Light is a spiritual substance. This is the reason why quantum physics is very difficult. It's an attempt to open people up to a realm that is not three-dimensional. Don't blame yourself when people say you are not good in quantum, although read. But I'm just telling you, it's not child's play. Hallelujah. Number two, fire. Everybody look at me. What is this terrible thing called fire? You cannot hold it, yet it is not threatened by anything. You can't box it. You can't put it in a box and wrap it. It will burn everything. Yet, it does not have any force that you can see, but it consumes. These are spiritual realities. Number three, water. This thing called water. Strange. Number four, wind. You can't catch it. But the effect is undeniable. Open your eyes. Will you open your ears? And then you understand that the Lord is here. Open your eyes. Will you open your ears? And then you understand that the Lord is here. So everybody said the realm of the spirit is real. The psalmist said, Yea, though I walk through a valley called the shadow of death. Who told the psalmist it was a valley and not a mountain of the shadow of death? How did the psalmist see it? The psalmist said, He will give you a garment called praise. So praise is not just what you sing. It's a garment in the realm of the spirit. You can wear it. Hallelujah. The realm of the spirit is an exciting realm. The last thing I want to talk about. Oh, I said four things. Five. There is the fifth one. Words. Words. Dangerous spiritual mysteries that defy physical explanation. Words have sent nations to war. Because somebody, somebody spoke. The earth was created with a word. It will be destroyed with a word. What is it about words? The words that I speak, they are spirit and life. Look at me. I said it here. Let me say it again. During the time of the apostles, they didn't have this. I hope you know. What did they call their word of God? Because it was their experience today we call the word of God. So whenever they said the word is quick and powerful, what did they refer to? There needs to be a redefinition in the body of Christ. I believe this, of course. This I, I'm not against this at all. Hallelujah. The reality of the realm of the spirit heavenly places there are planes there are dimensions in the realm of the spirit another thing i want to tell you is that there are portals from the earth realm 
that physically open people out to the realm of the spirit this will shock some of you did you hear what i said there are what portals look at me please there are physical portals it is geography that told us the earth is round or good or what's the shape i want to tell you that there are portals that physically open men out of this realm i'll prove it to you from scripture the bible tells us listen the bible tells us listen please that when the nation of israel were asked to choose whether they were standing for god or not the bible says the ground opened. is that true swallowed all of them at once and closed back as if nothing happened question is the ground a living thing who asked it to open swallow them and close back oh jacob got to a prophetic portal and he said this is the gate of heaven it wasn't just a vision he said where i am standing i'm standing the gates of heaven when elijah was going to check out of the earth he knew the exact place where there was a physical portal that would take him out of the earth beyond the jordan he said elijah ask your request quickly because very soon you will see chariots come to take me and immediately he looked he saw chariots that came and picked his physical body out of the earth realm when jesus was about to go to heaven in acts chapter one he knew the exact place to stay and he started levitating till he disappeared where are these portals ruth heflin one great woman that walked with the lord said a bit about this but there was a woman called an around tree an around tree was with jesus every day of 2005 every day and she said that the lord jesus told her that there are 15 portals 15 that open people up now i, I I'm, I'm just browsing through it because we have to do a lot of studies she them she showed all of them there is a book within you know, the priestly bride and the heavens open is you may not be able to get it except in pdf formats but i just want you to know that there are realms hallelujah there are realms the third thing i want you to know is that spirit beings can materialize themselves and manifest in this realm are you getting me human beings cannot do that but because the realm of the spirit is higher human beings i mean spirit beings can materialize themselves and come into this earth realm we are not alone we've spoken about it right the mystery of the aliens we explained it because the bible says in genesis chapter 6 how that the world grew wickedly is that true is that in your bible and the bible says the sons of god i told you that word son of god is not technon or wheels of god it was just a name demonic forces spirit beings, superhuman people the bible says they came and they slept with the daughters of men is that true and they gave birth to an aberration half man half human being we call them giants nephilims they are still alive till today and the bible says before the coming of christ it will be like the days of noah again that means there will be a repetition of that event it's already happening the unidentified identified flying objects ufos hello planet earth i shall not die you better know what you need to know to live otherwise it will be a hateful time of life i have a documentary i have a documentary where people were digging into the earth realm when they were digging they found a place that could take twenty thousand people below the earth and it was made by aliens I have a documentary where these aliens have had meetings with United States presidents right from 1914s. They are alive. They are around. They are in the earth. Let CNN fool you. Let me tell you, when the church is raptured, this book will become a rebest seller again because every historian will buy it to try to understand. Everything this Bible said will come to pass. Every hallelujah there are many realms the dream realm is the realm of the spirit your dream realm is a real realm in the spirit it's not those psychosomatic psycho whatever 
you know, uh, subconscious, all this, anything that is not physical is spiritual, period. Hallelujah. God came to Solomon in a dream. Was it, was it a mirage? It was a real solid experience. Joseph had an encounter not to leave Mary in a dream. A dream realm is a real realm. That's why somebody can have something in a dream and wake up physically. Is that true? Have you seen people sleep and they flood them and they woke up with physical marks all over there? Have you seen that happen? So how did that happen? Thank you, Jesus. The second thing I want you to know is that Satan is real. Everybody said, one to go. Satan is real. Listen, one of the things that secular humanism is promoting in the Western world and is creeping gradually into Africa is that Satan is trying to convince men using the tool of intellectualism that he does not exist. So people now teach, even men of God in church, they say the only devil that is there is your inner mind. Have you had those kind of psychopathic, devilish Christian science teachings? The only devil is the one in your mind. And if you can shift your mind away, you bring out your limited you. Ah, be careful, oh. Be very careful. Some of those teachings, the Bible says, in the latter days, men will give themselves to deceptive spirits. Different demons have appeared to people and brought all kinds of theology that we promote in the body of Christ right now. Satan is real. Satan is not a mirage. Satan is not one bull with horns as Freemasons tell us or the one you see in Tom and Jerry or all of those cartoons. Let me tell you the truth. Satan is real. Everybody say it. Satan is real. Demons are real. Say it. And wickedness is real. Satan is real. The Bible says when the sons of God came to meet with God, Satan was part of, their, of them. A real person. And God looked at him and said, ah, oh boy, where are you coming from? He said, going to and fro. He's a living thing. He's not a flower. Satan is not fire. He's a living thing. He can move. Only God knows how many times he has passed your street. <laughs> not demons. The real Satan himself. Hallelujah. I also want you to know that there are three qualities that make Satan not to be like God. Or there are three qualities that will test everything and put God in a position where he is alone. Number one, omniscience. Omniscience is the ability to know all things. Satan does not know all things. Please get this straight to your mind. Satan does not know all things. For instance, what you will become. Satan does not know. The Bible says, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear. He said, eye has not seen. Any kind of eye, it has not seen. Nor ear heard. There are ways in the realm of the spirit that Satan can peep and have an idea. This is what soothsayers and diviners and necromancers, they can use stargazing and astrology to predict certain things and wow people and perform magic like the Egyptian magicians hallelujah Satan is real demons are real wickedness is real Satan is not omniscient he does not know all things if he knew all things he would have known where Moses was hiding and not waste time killing everybody if he knew all things he would have gone to kill Jesus at once his trial and error see do you know why Satan killed Cain I've told you there was a prophecy in the garden of Eden the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent Eve gives birth to Cain and Satan thought that Cain is the seed of the woman so he came and entered Cain then he was shocked and when he found out that they gave birth to another child, he said, Cain, kill Abel in case Abel is the seed of the woman. Are you seeing that? When Moses was born, Satan thought Moses was the seed of the woman. Then he missed it again. He kept, that's why when John the Baptist was born 
and he began to manifest he moved through the scribes to ask him are you the messiah in other words let's verify and moses i mean elijah am um, john the baptist kept confusing them he said i'm a voice they said go confuse us who are you we want to kill you that's why herodias asked for his head what will you do with the head of the man that's why when jesus said all right i'm not hiding it again i am they started following him till he died so it was a plan satan killed i mean jesus allowed satan through people to kill him and i will tell you why it's still a law in the realm of the spirit if you kill a man the person's blood is permitted to haunt you for life we'll talk about that don't worry john 8 44 who is satan who is this guy called satan that has threatened people when you are going home alone you just are hearing sounds that you shouldn't hear because you are afraid he, there is satan if you watch a nigerian film we watch one fearful film years ago called uh, what they call it ultimate power ha! that film was not very encouraging <laughs> hallelujah he says ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye will do he said he was a murderer from the beginning ah -ah. that's a terrible description that means there is a story we don't know where is the story that brought satan as a murderer there are hidden stories enshrined so jesus was saying i know this guy yo there are lots of stories you don't know you just know genesis from one verse two there is a lot more even part of his archives was that he was once a murderer when did this happen from the beginning and he abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him he said when he speaketh he speaketh a lie of his own he said for he's a liar and the originator of all them that lie the word lie there is not just negating the truth it's deception satan is a deceiver his his character is to deceive he deceived the whole world. The badge of Satan is deception. What is deception? To make men err from the truth. He says, ye err not knowing the scriptures. Deception. So every time the spirit of the Antichrist is manifesting in a place, there is deception. I spoke about that prophetic insight into God's agenda. You can get the teaching. Deception hallelujah let's hurry up revelations 12 verse verse 9 revelations 12 i believe verse 9 let's turn there quickly it or verse 7 let's start from verse 7 it gives us another history that many of you may have not paid attention to and there was war in why will there not be war on earth when even in heaven there was war is that in your bible heaven there was war michael and his angels fought against who the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels this was satan and prevailed not neither was there found a place for him in heaven this was the judgment before genesis 1 verse 2 listen the bible says in genesis 1 1 it says in the beginning the beginning of beginnings deathless past it says god created the heavens and the earth we don't know how long that was no historian can know are you following me now then between genesis 1 verse 1 and genesis 1 verse 2 was millions and probably billions of years are you following me now this story is sandwiched between genesis 1 verse 1 and 1 verse 2 there was a lot of things that happened and the bible says lucifer was cast down that was it was the judgment that led to the chaos in genesis 1 verse 2 are you getting me now now the earth after that judgment was void there was water there was darkness and then god was going to recreate the earth what happened in genesis 1 verse 3 was a recreation that's why elohim said the first thing he said was let there be light the light there was not sunlight because a few verses later he made two great lights one to rule the day so the light there was not sunlight to know more about that light you go to john one 
he said in him was light and that light was the light of men so that light is the quality of his person that sponsors creation let there be light hallelujah it says and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent aha uh -huh, you see now so this serpent story is not a it's a very old story are you getting me this issue of serpent are you seeing why you see things around snakes 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 deliverance with snakes serpent he said i have given you power to tread upon serpents what was jesus saying couldn't he just say to tread upon the devil why did he use the word serpent i will tell you he said satan which deceived what look at how crafty satan is the Bible says Satan, it is within his craftiness to deceive the whole world. He was cast into the earth and the angels cast with him. Deceives the whole world. He deceives the whole world. He accuses the brethren, the Bible says, day and night. It was Satan. Listen, it was Satan who went and God was speaking to him. He said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan said, of course, uh -uh, after going to and fro the earth, I must have seen Job. He said, did you cover him for nothing? Take away the barricade. Give me permission. That's another law in the realm of the spirit we are going to talk about. Satan confessed that he could not touch a man. Satan testified before God that it was impossible for him to touch a man. Do you know there are men Satan does not touch today? Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and will not find nothing of himself. When, see, listen, when Jesus became man, remember the Bible tells us Satan is the God of this world. The God of the system, cosmos, not the earth, cosmos. The system. Hallelujah. That was why Satan looked at Jesus. Come, this, this is what he did to Jesus in the temptation. The Bible says, when he came and met him, he said, turn this stone to bread. Jesus didn't shout at Satan. Why? And then he said, follow me. And Jesus was following Satan. He took him to a mountain and showed him the kingdoms. How can Satan drag Jesus and Jesus will just follow like this? I will tell you why. Because Satan was the legal occupant of the earth. He collected the keys from Adam. And until then, the keys had not been collected yet. So he could brag. He said, Jesus, I know you came to collect this key. Let's negotiate. Bow, let me just give you. Must you go to the cross? If Jesus didn't go to the cross, there will be no blood. Satan would have collected it back from man. So Jesus said, no, I have to go through a process. Blood must speak. Satan was wise. Listen, if, if Jesus gave him the key, Satan would have laughed. Later on, he would have collected it back from man because there was no blood. <laughs> it's the same deceit that he did for Cain. Cain sacrificed and refused to put blood. And so his sacrifice was not accepted. Because Satan was afraid. Let the sacrifice of Cain not be accepted. Paradventure he is the seed that will bruise him. So he deceived him. Why this waste? Give yourself short cut. Just use vegetables. And Abel, there was blood on his sacrifice and he reached the heavens. When Elijah was going to call on God, he said, get me blood first. Without blood, I cannot call on God. I will explain to you why every time they kill in this country, people become richer. The mystery of blood money. Every money in the earth is blood money. Whether it's the blood of Jesus or the blood of demons. There is blood that sponsors everything. Wherever we can stop tonight, we'll stop. John 10 10. The Bible says, The thief, another name for him. The devil is very hardworking. Look at the names he earned for himself by trying different methods. It's his methodology that gave him these names. Another name now we're seeing, the thief. The dragon was not enough for him. The deceiver, the accuser. Now he has earned himself another name. The thief. The thief cometh not. That means you will never see Satan except to do this. To steal, to kill, to destroy. Everybody say to steal. 
say to kill say to destroy so if anybody fools you that the devil doesn't have any plans for your life or your family let me shock you now get out of that deceit quick before it gets too late are you hearing what i'm saying satan pursued jesus from birth till he went to heaven from birth till he went to heaven is that true satan was he paid people to say jesus was not alive he's still paying people today paying channel o paying mtv paying his envoys remember our teaching last week envoys of his presence satan also has envoys He's a deceiver. He's the arch enemy of the church. Satan is the arch enemy of the church. What is his purpose? Look at me. If, if this is where I stop, this night is all right. I must let you, let's uncover this Satan puzzle. Look at me, everybody. Why is Satan desperate to destroy man? Have you ever asked yourself that question? why wouldn't it, there are people who used to say why wouldn't the devil let me go let me go now eh? let my family go the devil saying you have not seen anything yet if you know what i suffered before you were born you do, i don't plan to leave you until i see many of you don't know how old satan is satan tried moses he tried everybody he didn't leave them they forced him to leave them so you you just come in the middle of history and believe because you just said oh i'm born again the devil say okay, let's concentrate on others you think so the angrier he gets he gets angry by the day because his time is short he's more determined over our generation than any other generation listen i want to tell you something from the 70s down to the 90s satan had been plotting a dangerous arsenal against the american church he deceived them into believing that when you are born again that's all they taught it and they transferred it to us look at what is happening to america now because of that gospel who would have known that a man would look at another man and wants to sleep with him even a preacher look at it was happening behind the scene while they were just telling themselves everything is okay the devil is saying time i am patient I can be patient for a whole generation he kept mapping his strategy right now they are removing the commandments they are doing everything people are occupying positions and he's coming to africa softly and god is raising people say joshua selman arise you are this horn and koinonia arise yes because if we keep allowing this incomplete gospel to fool us one day a day will come catastrophe will happen again in nigeria maybe we'll start sleeping with animals but there are carpenters that will not bow look at what has happened to america brothers and sisters this was a place i was discussing with somebody i said where are the people who carried the mantles of smith wigglesworth where are they they were do you know satan made sure a generation did not take the mantle while these guys were preaching satan was busy taking he started destroying these people from a tender age and right now cartoon network all of these many networks i'm not saying they are bad but i'm saying there is another conspiracy to destroy young people satan can be patient even if he's 50 years right now they will show sex in a cartoon and do something something that was for entertainment and children are watching and the parents say they are small hold on very soon you will see them get up one day and you will see the drama that begins to happen you will see police with your son where is he coming from he went to sleep with somebody they say oh yeah let's go to the prison that's when you will know that there is drama you say you 12 years 12 years what do you know about this as i watched it somewhere or you catch look at all the people that are terrorizing the country which old man has the strength to carry god who doesn't like his life like that in his old age after suffering he wants to enjoy the remaining one decade or two de decades young people because i'm sorry to say this and i have a lot of honor for our father but their eyes are becoming dim like elisha and, and, and like eli and it's money that is making that eyes become dim 
So they are concentrating on building a lot of empires. And therefore, right now, many churches do not have respect for the youth. There are many churches that don't even have provision for Sunday school again. Is that true? And they think it is not necessary. Young people in many churches don't have a place again. The elders come with their philosophy. This little boy now, no provision for him. So he will get up with a godless mindset. They just leave them to be playing outside. As if demons cannot enter them. When you say anything, they say, please, don't be fanatical. It's children. Until the day the child says, I am the one that tied the father's head. The, the father will look at the child. Six years old, say, yes, I'm the one that tied your head. This is what is happening around. This is what is happening around. Don't laugh. I counsel people all the time. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Wake up tonight. The weapons of our warfare. is a deceiver. The arch enemy of the church. Let me round up quickly by telling us what the agenda of Satan is. Satan is very visionary. He's not just trying to chase people up and down. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to tell you something. The devil is not interested in frivolities. There is a reason why he wants to get people down. Three reasons. Number one. Satan is on a revenge mission. You must understand this. Everybody say revenge mission. Have you watched films that they came and destroyed the actor's people and they thought they were dead and the actor said I must revenge. All these Chinese films, Satan is on his own Chinese film. He has been doing it since and he will not give up. This, you see this story we just read in Revelation? That thing stung the ego of Satan. God didn't even fight. It was Michael that arranged him. They sent him to the earth. And Satan had been angry. Now guess what? What was Satan's annoyance? Listen. Satan was the value cherub that covereth. Are you getting me? Because the angels of God excel in strength. Why do they excel in strength? Because they are standing in the presence of God. And because God is ever changing. They are a reflection of his ever changing nature. So Satan being the closest cherub to God got to a point where he was an embodiment of all. Even other angels. Listen, Satan had the power to discipline other angels. That's what the lake of fire was created for. The, I've told you this. The lake of fire is not hell. Remember, I proved to you from scripture that hell, death, and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is part of God's kingdom. It had been there. It had been there. There's no time I would have shown you from the word of God. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Oh, it has been there. Yes. They are not just creating it. They are finished sins. That was the reason why when Satan conspired and he was, what did he want? He wanted to exalt himself and carry the nature of God. He had the likeness of God. The angels have the likeness of God. That's why they excel in strength, the brightness of his glory. Are you getting me? God has two hands. Angels have two hands, not three. Are you getting me? If you see one with three, be careful. Be very careful. Hallelujah. So that's his likeness. But Satan wanted the image of God. That quality that can make him to begin to legislate like God. And God said, uh-uh, you have gone too far. And he cast him down. And guess what? He created man and now gave man the prayer request of Satan. You get the point? God now gave us that. Satan was watching. When God said, let them have dominion. Satan said, what? This is what you threw me down for. It's unfair. It, that's why occultic tell you that God was unfair to Satan. This is the unfairness. They say, how can God refuse to? He punished Satan for wanting something and gave man who did not ask for it. That's why I say, what manner of love? You see it? What manner of love? So Satan said, no way. This is a mockery to my personality. God will mold clay. You know how angels were made? Angels were not made from sand. Angels were made. How many of you have seen lightning? Lightning. That is the material of their creation. The least angel was made from that light. So Satan watched God mold clay. He, weaks, he uses the weak things. Are you getting me now? So he used clay and put his image and Satan said, come on. No, no way. We are going to fight against this. So that anger 
is what Satan still has towards you. You gave your life to Christ and you believe Satan is your friend. Now, with all this story I've told you, do you think he wants to leave you? Hallelujah. This is that old story. So Satan came to Adam. Listen, why did he come to Adam? He came to Adam because he saw God giving him the keys. God gave him the keys. And he knew that through reproduction, he was going to reproduce people after his kind, who are after the kind of God. And they will intimidate Satan again. Satan cannot stand seeing people with the image of God. They, how many of you, let me, let's, let's be very honest. Brothers will understand this. Brother, you like a particular lady. You don't know what to do about it. The thing is eating you. Then somebody that you feel is not up to you will just come and meet her. And then the lady will be dying for the person. You get that pain, multiply it times infinity. That's what Satan is feeling today. Because the church is the bride of Christ. You see that pain. So every time I stand, mortal clay, I say, let it be. And it becomes, Satan is annoyed. How can clay, clay, the psalmist say, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Did you not see angels that you could make men? What is man that thou art mindful of him? Not the son of man that thou visitest him some age. He said you have made him a little lower than Elohim. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. This is how special you are. If you understand this, you will not let any man drag your life in a mud. It took God a lot to make you what you are. That's a permanent cure for inferiority. Just see the effort God made to birth you. See how many angels would have taken your place. They all stood hoping and God said, I have another plan. It's not one of you. He started molding clay and breathed into that clay and called it Adam. Even when man fell, God went out of his way to start pursuing man. It pains Satan again. Ha! I fell once. You punish me. Man has fallen many times. You are still looking for him. This is injustice. You see it? You see what pain Satan. So he came and met Joshua the high priest and said, God, I'm coming to accuse. This guy is a priest. He's coming. You punish me for falling. Now look at this man. And God said, I just love him. Case closed. I am God. I can veto anything. Jacob have I loved. Esau have I hated. Why will I not love him with all my heart? This is not an issue of psyching you. You let aside your majesty. Gave up everything for me. Suffered at the hands of those you have created. You took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again. Now today you reign forever and now exalted. I really want to worship you, my Lord. You have won my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I will love you. You are the only one who died for me. Gave your life to set me free. So I lift my voice to you in adoration. Listen, if you stop loving God because He didn't give you husband, you are a wicked person. Look at what he went through. And will he not give you prosperity or ministry? You see why God gets angry when men stop trusting him. He says you are ungrateful people. Look at what I did to you. Only because the breakthrough did not come. Now you are backsliding. That's why I love him with my life. Money or no money. Ministry or no ministry. He has already done too much. Too much. Listen, if God called one of the angels and gave him his image, he is still God. 
how many, look at how many times people fail God and it's not like we went and we were repentant he was the one chasing us and begging this thing this thing is still paining Satan till tomorrow why will God leave his throne let me tell you when Satan saw Jesus becoming a baby he knew that this was the height of in quote stupidity of God not only did God chase man through the prophets now the word became flesh came and entered the womb of a woman was patient for 30 years men insulted him that's why he came to Jesus and said I am concerned about your humiliation take the keys just bow to me and God said no that's why the Bible says wherefore God so highly God was so impressed by the humility of Jesus look at all the stars he created yet he degraded there are cadres in the realm of the spirit he became lower than the seraphs lower than that's why see to an extent the bible says after his fasting and prayer angels came and ministered to him they were consoling their maker what humility so satan is on a revenge mission there is anger and annoyance that's why he will not leave your family that's why he will keep deceiving preachers to tell people everything is all right just shake your body and feel nice let me tell you the truth get out i'm not saying be angry or criticize any man of god <laughs> but the moment you do that satan start taking a breath of fresh air and says please continue if you need money for this kind of ministry i'll keep giving you money that's why some people get money without praying they think it's god that is giving it satan is saying camp at this level if it's, if money will make you not to pray take the money stop praying just be enjoying the money let me continue dealing with other people but there are some people that have determined money or no money it can't stop our prayer every day we will shake the gates kapoto kata they must hear this sound we must register our presence prosperity or no prosperity whether my family needs help or not is a sign i'm just letting satan know hello good morning ambassadors are still alive hey. hallelujah the second reason listen is because there is something called the written judgment judgment that has been written for satan i hope you know that nobody can pray it we cannot gather now and say god forgive satan please uh -huh. it is written are you getting me now so satan believes listen satan knows he's going to the lake of fire i hope you know that he has deceived the demonic realm to believe that he will overthrow mankind listen and except the army rise it looks like it's possible because when you see the way satan is possessing and oppressing families it looks like there is no hope so satan keeps convincing the demons and say if we continue a day will come we will destroy mankind and god will do another strategy and this lake of fire agenda might be cancelled are you getting it now because for as long as the church does not rise jesus cannot come i hope you know that yeah the coming of jesus is not a mystery please don't i have shown you i have shown you jesus is not coming like a thief in the night to the church brothers and sisters first thessalonians 5 please very quickly first thessalonians 5 let's just settle this in once and for all i've told you he's coming like a thief in the night the bible says that the question is to who not to the church how can he love us so much and come like a thief in the night to us who is he afraid of that is coming like a thief let's look at it see a lot of theology that we got we believe them we are convinced everybody look up i'll start reading but of the times and seasons brethren ye have no need that i write to you verse 2 for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the lord so cometh like a thief in the night this is where many of our theologians stop is that true but there is more read on for when they who are the day not us 
when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape if you love God and you believe in his word read verse 4 one to go is it not in your bible is that not it he said but ye brethren he has spoken about they the foolish virgins who are outside now he's saying ye brethren you are not in darkness so why should it come in the night he says that that day should overtake you like a thief is it not the spirit and the bride that tells the world to come the world does not just come the spirit koinonia in partnership it is the church in partnership with the holy spirit who say we have conquered the systems king of kings come and behold the works of your bride and he will come and come and harvest a church without spot or wrinkle so it is because we are in the end times that god is releasing apostolic and prophetic graces to accelerate the advancement of the kingdom there are souls to be won a lot of people who are saying jesus is coming they don't have a passion for god it is true don't get me wrong jesus is really coming soon very very soon that's why he puts an urgency upon us that's why we are launching things like project Ten Thousand to make sure that we can push this gospel that's why we are sending all our messages free we don't have time to look for money right now there is an urgency on the ground why do we do all of these things if we are looking for a name can't we just write books and be receiving royalties we are smart enough to do research all the messages we have preached if we change it into books and just balance and be receiving royalty at least one of them will be a bestseller don't you think so so what puts this fire what makes you leave your house and come and sit down and other people do not understand you are a savior to them and they are now criticizing you don't be afraid you are the savior that will arise whenever people talk and say you serve don't know uh, you have the, another spirit is the spirit of christ don't just come because you want a husband or because you want a wife we we dedicate miracle service for that but there is an urgency there is a curriculum of the spirit we must cover on time hallelujah let me tell you satan hates this meeting beyond your imagination never make mistakes if you see people coming like this it is because he cannot stop them it's not that he doesn't want to he cannot because keys have been given to us and our job is to threaten him i my life's goal among the numerous goal is to give satan heart attack before jesus comes to take me home i'm not sure i may die before he comes because he's coming really soon hallelujah when we do everything we salute the earth and check out and say Toh, we have tried those who didn't listen to us i'm leaving my bible you can get it in zaria and we'll check out we will in case all you are doing is amassing wealth and amassing everything if it is not for the kingdom i have a root shock for you you may not live to enjoy it because we will be going that's when you will see the vanity of life so the bible says live for yourself treasures in heaven why are you i'm not against a life of comfort hallelujah but let your concentration be on the things of god so satan deceives us husband and wife i'm not against marriage again and all of these things oh job i don't have a job god i will backslide and god is saying after all i've done oh yeah backslide now is your own fault and the devil is saying please go ahead backslide i will supply you the grace the bad friends all the arsenals you need to quickly backslide that's why you can download any junk in the internet free of charge because the devil wants to accelerate your backsliding and then we the men of god satan keeps making us sleep and all that we are concerned doing is criticizing people and saying what god didn't call us to do hallelujah whereas we should concentrate on building the kingdom 
we are here arguing about frivolities arguing about is it right to wear kaftan on stage or is it right to wear this all of those things the devil is saying continue i beg you any opportunity to distract the church the devil is saying this is what i want so the man of god now has a lot of money they give him a lot of jeep he said my soul find rest no prayer no study no anything and the person is happy and he says i i run a ministry of so 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 number of people and uh, i'm very fulfilled the devil said thank you more of this more of this but when satan finds people who when god blesses them it doesn't change it the devil says, how do we throw these people down See, the devil is thinking out. While you are sleeping, he's not sleeping. They are just meeting and saying, for God's sake, how are we going to put Aaron down? As in the middle of the discussion, then you wake up. You just felt like ventilating your spirit by one o'clock in the night. And you are shaking the car keys, meaning it does not matter. The car keys didn't change anything. Rise up on your feet. Let's close. Come on, let's begin to pray in the spirit. We have a passion, passion. to see his kingdom come. Pray. Say, Lord, to see your kingdom come is my desire to be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Your prayer is an eternal investment for yourself, for your family, for your church. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three prayer points, and we're out of here. Number one is a prayer of gratitude. You're going to say, Lord, I never saw your love in this light now i know you care about me how can i kill myself suicide what for Say, Lord, I thank you for your love. So thank you for your love. In spite of myself, in spite of my limitations, in spite of my shortcomings, thank you, thank you for loving me enough to seek me oh yes thank you because you are not a man thank you because you are not a religious person hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you're going to say lord i receive grace to contribute in whatever way that will show you that I love you and I'm interested in your agenda. Whatever way, by casting out devils, by financing the kingdom, by getting men saved, by getting them filled with the Holy Ghost, by praying for preachers, by praying for pastors, by not gossiping about people, whatever contribution, no matter how little, I receive grace, grace, grace. Whether it's to pray for men of God, whether it's to sow into their lives, whether it's to sow into the kingdom, whether it's to get men filled with the Holy Ghost, whether it's to produce trust, whatever contribution of God, I receive praise. Listen, brothers and sisters, can I tell you something? Look at me. Do you know how desperate Jesus is to see his kingdom come, to see souls saved? No matter how little you contribute, 
you will hear him telling you thank you i know not everybody is interested you are going to pray and say every demonic hold that attempts to shift me away from the things of god look one spirit bad friends bad association be far from my life open your mouth and pray Why should I not put a gospel ringtone? Why should I put junk music in my phone? Why should I be afraid to wear a shirt that says I'm a kingdom addict? Why should I be ashamed to preach Jesus Christ? Because the lady is fine? Or because the guy is handsome? Or I don't want to be embarrassed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take it down again. Are you praying? We're provoking the heavens to respond to us today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalm 30 verse 5, just two scriptures and then I'll give us a charge and we'll trust God to really, really pray. Hallelujah. One of the things that God is going to be doing tonight, um, aside from the miracles, the healings, is I really believe with all my heart, and the Lord began to speak this to me um, two weeks ago, that there will be strong impartations. Hallelujah. An impartation is a transference of grace. Your possibilities in the kingdom are defined by the kind and the order of grace that is at work in you. It's not defined just by desire. Hallelujah. Desire alone cannot be sufficient for results. And so your possibilities are defined by the kinds of graces that you carry. And so I want us to please pay attention um, even as I teach. Hallelujah. Please, someone play. Thank you. Psalm 30 verse 5. It says, For his anger endured but for a moment. It says, In his favor is life. Let's read the other part together. I want to read. Weeping may endure for a night. It says, But joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. It says, Weeping may endure. In other words, it is not unusual when we are challenged by situations that rattle our convictions. We, we live in a world where um, you don't have to look for trouble for it to come. Hallelujah. The moment you are born, there are all kinds of vicissitudes that come with our lives. From those that are self-inflicted as a result of ignorance um, to those that are as a result of um, um, the wickedness that exists in our territory. Hallelujah. And so we must sustain a system in the spirit 
to be able to rise above these limitations. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that weeping, weeping there is symbolic of sorrow, is symbolic of pain, is symbolic of setbacks, is symbolic of frustrations. And the Bible says, though weeping may endure for a night. Hallelujah. It says, but joy, hallelujah, joy cometh in the morning. In other words, this, this is a very strong message because the Lord is saying the same way there is night and day. Are we together? The same way there is night time and there is morning. Whenever you see that there are situations in your life that cause you to weep, he's saying there is a system in the kingdom that when properly operated is able to bring you to the other side of your pain, joy. The same way you see night is dark right now and we anticipate the morning in a few hours. Is that true? So I can be in a situation that is hopeless and know that in Christ, all I see is not all there is. The same way there is day and night, there is another side to my pain. Say amen. amen. This is a message of hope. This is a prophetic message. Are we together? The Lord kept laying this in my heart very strongly. Are we together now? That though weeping endures for a night. Let me tell you something. If you have never been through a challenging situation, you may not understand the relevance of this message. Are we together? Look at the lady who was sharing her testimony, you know, with nephritis, the whole kidneys, you know, on their way to being completely damaged. Now, for this kind of person, she's not thinking marriage, she's not thinking children, she's thinking life. Are we together now? Yeah. Yeah. There are many people like that seated, scattered all around. Trusting God with all kinds of medical death sentences. Hoping that God will be able to step in tonight. But I have good news for you. The Bible says, though weeping endures for a night. Then it says, joy comes when? In the morning. Isaiah 60. Isaiah 61. Please, can you play something? Is that all right? Okay. Isaiah 60. 61, sorry. I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to read because this is very, very instructive. We're reading from verse 1. To 3. Are we ready? He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He said, he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Listen, please. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Then he says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Let's read verse 3, the first sentence. One, to read. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Stop. It says, though weeping endures for a night, there is a system that whenever morning shows up, with that morning there is joy. But he never told you how that morning comes. But now the prophet is giving us a revelation that there are human vessels anointed to call your night morning it says to appoint the word appoint means to decree it so since we have established that joy will always come with the morning it means there's got to be a system that can call a man's night to become morning so that with that morning his joy comes and it says the spirit of the lord is upon me and has authorized me to call to appoint unto them that morning Zion it says to give them it says it as though you are a possessor of it to give them beauty 
for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Then he says, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Are we together? He says that they may be called oaks or trees of righteousness that he might be glorified. And then he says, my people shall never be ashamed. My people, when it comes to turning their darkness to light, they shall never be ashamed. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And part of the many things that he comes to do is to grant capacity to appoint unto men. Benga was sharing at the welcome note and he said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, he says, believe in the Lord your God. He says, so shall you be established. He says, believe in his prophets and so shall ye prosper. It's not human worship. It's a system in the kingdom. Are we together now? There is a system in the kingdom that brings men into their glorious destinies. We've explored the mysteries of the kingdom again and again. We just finished a series on the secrets of the kingdom. And please, especially for those who are just coming, I encourage you to get those series and listen to them with all your heart. Because the operation of the kingdom is systemic. And when you understand the systems of the kingdom, then your victory is guaranteed. It's not if it will happen, it's when it will happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And part of the things I believe God is going to be doing tonight is to appoint unto men seasons. Let me tell you something with prophecy. You see, the realm of the spirit does not have time. Listen, please. The realm of the spirit does not operate with time. Are we together? Events only unfold according to the will of God, not just according to the passage of time. So the regulator of the activities in the realm of the spirit is the will of God, not your clock. But when it comes to the earth realm, our activities are governed by time. Whether or not you want, time is passing. Are we together? Now, let me tell you something about prophecy. Prophecy has the ability, listen please, it has the ability to tap into the realm of the spirit and find out what would have been your prophetic destiny that has been altered in time. Are we together? And by that grace of prophecy, you can take it because there is no past and future in the spirit. And so the devil may have messed up your five years, but the prophetic is able to pick that five years and make it your tomorrow because there is no time listen listen prophecy does not just reveal it creates it makes possible what would never have been possible so the prophet looks at a woman and says by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would have happened anyway the prophetic word created it hallelujah this is the thing about god that truly makes me convinced that all things are possible all things are possible because whatever leaves you in the physical did not live in the spirit and there is still a system that can bring it to become your current day experience so a woman who should have given birth to five children and for whatever reason has been delayed prophecy is able to shift that miracle and make her have triplets and twins are we together now yes do you believe what i'm saying Listen, if you don't believe this, then we are wasting our time. Because we are talking about the God of all possibilities. I will die believing him. He is faithful. Hallelujah. Let's look at just one more scripture. John chapter 10 verse 10. Jesus was teaching and he said this. He says, the thief cometh not, King James. The thief cometh not, but for to steal. And to kill and to destroy are we together but then he says i am come i am come it's a manifesto like you say vote me i want to do something for you and then he says look the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy he says but i am come that ye may have life 
and to have that life more abundantly other versions say to the fullest the bible identifies satan as a thief are we together and what is the character of a thief let me tell you a thief studies an environment and takes advantage of the vulnerability of the people second Corinth, second Chronic, um, corinthians chapter 2 uh, i believe give us second corinthians chapter 2 holy spirit help me verse 11 there's a scripture that just came to my mind as i was talking too thank you lest satan should do what take advantage are you seeing that lest satan should do what take advantage of us it says for we are not ignorant of his methodology there is a system with which satan destroys people the first system is to study your vulnerability so he waited until jesus was hungry and he came through that angle of hunger are we together one of the many blessings of growing in the world is that you close every access point for satan to be able to take advantage in your life the area of the kingdom you are not furnished and established in will become the access point of darkness in your life are we together he said lest satan should take advantage of us we are christians but because of our inaccurate understanding of the systems of god satan can leverage on our ignorance satan can leverage on certain spiritual possibilities and buffet our lives write it down i've taught it again and again but i want to repeat it very quickly there are only three ways satan has access to people especially believers only three ways number one covenants covenants this is the system of transgenerational allegiance whether towards god or towards satan a covenant creates a platform for access regardless of the individual openness of the people a territory can have a covenant with god to find expression at all times when david was dedicating the temple he stood up and said oh lord whoever faces this temple in jerusalem and prays unto you we pray it's a covenant that you hearken to them so when daniel was about to be destroyed when they signed a law the bible says he opened his window towards jerusalem remembering the covenant are we together and the bible says he prayed covenants they are fraternities that we come into whether with god or with demon spirits that authorize certain levels of activities in lives in families and in territories please pay attention i'm building a conviction in us so that we'll pray a covenant is so powerful because in a covenant your your individual refusal or acceptance does not necessarily change things ordinarily are we together i give you an instance they did not consult with you to change fuel price because there is a covenant by birth you are a nigerian are we together so whatever happens to this country as an individual you can exempt yourself but as a territory we are under a common challenge are we together when jesus saw somebody who was born blind his disciples asked a question he said who sinned that this man was born blind he said him or his father in other words there was something in the teaching of jesus to them that had taught them that there can be things that transcend a generation are we together and transcend a territory now there are several people in a bid to bring balance to the exaggerated um activities of demon spirits we have deceived people into believing that covenants do not have anything and so we have people jumping and say no way but there are 11 people in a family none of them is giving birth yet they are they do not want to admit that there is something wrong covenants are powerful covenants are respected in the realm of the spirit there is a law that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the word had to become a lamb and go through that condition for mankind to be saved there are families born again but they do not understand the systems of god 
your personal salvation does not affect your territory it takes an operation of the kingdom for that reality to be established it is not negating what christ has done the confusion here usually has come from an accurate or an inaccurate understanding of the prophetic speakings of god and the experiential manifestation follow me please when god speaks he speaks from the realm of his possibilities and he's prophetic in his communications he called things that be not as though they are are we together but when it comes to the experiential manifestation of the same there is a partnership from this earth realm to make it real in the eyes of god no one should go to hell is that true because the price has been paid are there still people dying and going to hell today yes does that mean the work of salvation is is is, is um is a failure no the people have not opened up their will there are many of us today by the grace of god who will be healed but scripture was not just written this night it's been written before our forefathers were born however tonight there is a principle we are going to engage in that will make it become real are we together now yeah listen sickness should give us an understanding that covenants are real if you are a Christian and you are tongue talking and you can still fall sick, that means you are a Christian and you can still be buffeted by demons. There is a spiritual logic to this. It is not insulting your salvation. It is to help you understand that there is, there is, there is an understanding that will give you freedom. Please, I want you to pay attention to this. Many individuals, especially those who love God, are victims of fraternities the goal of covenants is to create transgenerational allegiance whether to god or to the devil the missionaries came and brought the gospel of salvation but they did not bring the gospel of the kingdom so malaria killed them you call it malaria we know what killed them are we together because there are systems in the kingdom so you can be born again your eternal salvation can be secured but then because we do not understand the operations of the world we can just pretend and say everything is all right faith is not foolishness the end of faith is a manifestation if you are trying trying and nothing is happening i think it's it's very it's very humble to open up yourself and say look i see patterns the clearest proof of an existence of covenants is patterns similarity of happenings regardless of the individuals they rob your brother in a quiet bomb your sister is minding herself in benway they rob her too two of them were not discussing it because you see covenants give access to certain operations of of spiritual beings whether god or satan i can enter a covenant of righteousness with my family that can grant god access even someone who is an unbeliever can come under the corporate covering of that covenant that's what brought people out of egypt so long as there was blood whether the individuals believed or not for as long as they adore a representative of the people had blood the angel of death passed covenants i have seen this i saw it in my own life i saw it in my own family I've seen this in the life of pastors. I've seen this in the life of sincere people. Number two, ignorance. The second access point is a lest Satan should take an advantage of us. On the strength of our ignorance in this area, ignorance. Ignorance. Incomplete understanding of the principles of the word or no understanding completely both of them in the spirit is called ignorance whether you know the principle or you know part of it is still ignorance because you are only having um the bible says you will arise and you will shine isaiah 60 verse 1 not because you are tired of sitting but it says your light is come it's always been there but the day it comes to you it has the power to cause you to arise and shine ignorance that's why we spent three weeks expounding on the mysteries of the kingdom 
to help us understand the systems of God. Listen, the journey of a believer starts with Christ. It does not start with principles. It starts with an encounter of the person Christ. When you begin to study principles outside of an, the encounter of Christ, you will get into Scientology and witchcraft and mysticism and spiritism. You must encounter the object of your encounter is the person Jesus. Are we together? From that standpoint of encounter, he reveals himself to you. He brings you to a point of intimacy. And your reward for intimacy is power. And that power is divided into two. One, power that comes from the understanding of the systems of God. And another dimension of power that comes as a reward for intimacy. So there are two dimensions of the operations of God's power. Number one is the dimension of his power that is programmed into his laws. By believing those laws, the power is released. Whether you are praying or not. Seed time and harvest is an example of such laws. You engage it and the power of God is released. Are we together? Yeah. But there are certain dimensions of power that will only be released on the strength of intimacy. So it is from that standpoint of encounter, you begin to explore the systems of God. The systems of God defines his way of operation. And the moment you comprehend that, then you will truly access power. Ignorance. You can be born again and be ignorant. Number three, disobedience. The last access point of Satan is disobedient willful refusal to comply with God's principles willful refusal that's disobedience you're not doing it out of ignorance the Bible says having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete not when you start when it's complete Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 says, And it shall come to pass, right, that if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day, it says that you shall be exalted above all nations, and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Then he begins to list them. It shall come to pass. If thou will diligently. Joshua verse one, uh, chapter 1 verse 8 right the Lord was speaking to Joshua and then he says this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all all not some observe to do right then he says then shall thou make thy ways prosperous and you shall have good success it's very important obedience 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 is not just hearing what God has said obedience is doing what God has said in John chapter 2 when the servants came to Mary she said whatsoever he tells you to do he said do it hallelujah Paul the Apostle was encouraging the the early church and he said now that ye know these things in fact it wasn't just Paul I think it was Jesus himself he says, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Now that you know, happy are ye if you do them. These, brothers and sisters, as mysterious as Satan looks, this is the only way he can find expression. His possibilities are finite. They are not infinite. Number one is covenant. The strongest access point to Satan or of satan into people's lives and then number two we have ignorance and number three disobedience and that's why we are gathered here tonight that god will grant us grace to take advantage of the provisions that have come in christ and end this this buffeting of darkness over our lives and destinies and i pray that it will be someone's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray for you from the depth of my heart that as God begins to touch people he will touch you and end this captivity in your life once and for all 
Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Listen. I want you tonight to believe God. Do not come to God carelessly. Listen, the Bible describes the kind of attitude we must have when we come to God. Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith it is impossible to please Him. It says, For he that cometh unto God must come believing, must believe that He is. That means He exists and then that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So every time you approach God, you don't come to try. Let me find out whether God can touch this cancer. Let me find out whether God can end my captivity. No. You come to him believing. Say I'm a believer. So tonight I want you to approach the mighty God. Knowing that he's able to do all things. Believe me. You have your requests. You have your needs. Take your eyes away from that infirmity. And believe in God. It does not look it can be within the twinkling of an eye and God will change your story it doesn't take him time God is not a carpenter he doesn't build by nailing things he builds by speaking are we together now he called darkness light and it became light I really believe God and I came here tonight trusting that God will touch us it's going to be a very quick walk that's why I'm taking out the time to speak to us. Very quickly, let me just take the altar call now. Look up, please. Let that be the first miracle tonight. Let's take the altar call so that as we begin to move and just flow, we'll just move in one single sweep. There's a lot to do tonight and we want to save time so that we can finish on time. I told you that there are three access points of Satan. One covenants two ignorance three disobedience are we together john chapter 3 from verse 16 says for god so loved the world he said that he gave his one and only begotten son who is no longer his one and only but the first begotten of we because he has called many of us into glory are we together then it says that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life the thing i love about the faith life is that you are never forced to do anything your response in the kingdom is always a product of revelation and your willingness if you are willing and obedient then you will eat the good of the land there are people seated here right from praise and worship there are so many listening to me the first overflow and all the overflows around there are so many connecting uh, you know on our social media platforms and you're hearing my voice right now and the holy spirit is telling you the man of god is talking to you the first miracle that can happen to you tonight is the miracle of ending the mismanagement of your life by trying to run it your own way are we together that you hand over your life when you come to Jesus you don't just come and accept him in your heart you take your heart and say Lord I give you everything not I give you my spiritual life I hand over my entire life to you everything I've been through use it for your glory lord i offer my life to you everything that's true repentance that as you come here you are not just coming because you are feeling guilty you are coming here sincerely saying i'm tired of mismanaging my life there's got to be more than this there's got to be more than living my life the way i want i must come under authority and i know there are so many people inside and outside hearing my voice 
some of you have never made this decision to make Jesus Lord of your life you've made a decision to go to church you've made a decision to join a religion called Christianity but you have not made a true decision to surrender everything and there are people there's another category I'll call all by uh, at, at once so that we'll save time there are those who at one point you truly made a genuine decision but the cares of this life the challenges in your life just overwhelmed you and right now you know that as it is right now as it is right now you cannot say things are all right between you and God you've backslidden you've you've turned away but the Bible says if my people who are called by my name it says shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then it says then we lie here from heaven and will forgive their sin and then will heal their land forgiveness will always follow healing are we together I'm going to make an altar call right now any of the overflows outside inside here very fast I'll count one to ten listen there are people the Holy Ghost is speaking to and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus you're saying Lord things are happening in my family I do not even know the name of what is going in my family the first key is to surrender your all to sacrifice everything before his throne and say Lord I'm not just coming to receive healing I'm coming to start a new life it's called Zoe God's very life not another kind the very life of God hallelujah praise the Lord before I make the altar call I want us to all close our eyes and pray in one minute intercede for those who are about to come and say Lord no power will stop them from coming no power will stop them from coming we believe in the salvation of souls this is not a cinema where we are watching football this is a place where God is changing lives and destinies pray as you are praying for many of you the Lord is going to be speaking to you right now there are so many outside in all the overflows it's like you've been waiting for a man to call you and say return home he's calling you he's calling you hallelujah now I'm going to count one to ten wherever you are please I'd like us to begin to celebrate them outside inside don't wait for others you are returning to Christ and you are making this decision for the first time leave your seat and make your way quickly one who we'll count one to ten don't wait for anybody God bless you they are coming two please clear the way for them outside don't let no friends stop you Jesus is calling you no 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 you are doing you are doing a very noble thing don't let any friend please encourage them outside if you came with anyone don't stop them from coming out God will punish you if you stop anybody from coming out because he's your friend it's, it's, it's an entirely um, it's a personal affair God bless you keep coming Koinonia a sacrifice of your applause to motivate them and encourage them Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Keep coming. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you hallelujah the Lord is still speaking to me that there are people you need to make your ways right with God in fact the Lord is showing me at least three ladies you've not prayed like for the last two months because you are asking what I have done will the Lord really really open up himself to me and the Lord is saying you should make your way to the front clear the way for them please clear the way I don't care whether you are a pastor you are a prophet 
make your way to the front this is serious business I believe there are still people outside in the overflows the first the second overflow and across the road please make your way to the front we are going to wait for you one more minute we are going to wait for you we are going to wait for you please don't play games with God tonight this is your destiny he wants to bless you he says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord Jeremiah 29 11 he says thoughts of peace thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end I believe in you I believe in you let's all sing this song one more time and then we'll pray for them Jesus Son of God I believe in you I believe in you Hallelujah I sincerely want to appreciate us young and old we're all here to receive Jesus Christ look at me please if I if I give you a new phone you don't accept it as though you are embarrassed you accept it with gratitude salvation is greater than any other thing you will be receiving tonight are we together and so i want you to be very proud of what you are doing whether you have been restored or you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time just make sure you are not reciting a poem make sure this is from the depth of your heart are we together lift your right hand high to the heavens and say this after me i'm just guiding you but the most important thing is the sincerity of your heart say after me lord jesus i believe in you i believe that jesus is the son of god i believe that he died for me i believe that he rose again for my justification tonight I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord. I hand over my life and my destiny to your care. And I ask that you be my Lord, my God, my King forever. From today, the hold of sin, the hold of the flesh over my life comes to an end this is a new beginning in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted as i pray for you father you see these hands lifted they have made genuine sincere commitments i pray that the spirit of god that is our seal of redemption will be a witness to this spiritual transaction and i pray in the name of jesus that from tonight let there be a new beginning in the name of jesus christ let there be a new beginning for every one of us no going back to the world no going back to the flesh by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen a big congratulations to all of you this is the best decision you would have made in your entire life hallelujah now i like you to follow okay this way we're going to follow um, the ushers as they lead you there'll be a group of people to have your names your details and we'll follow you up they'll be very brief so that you come back and join us um, please be very fast with them because we're about to get up to the ministrations right away god bless you thank you for this great decision let's honor them koinonia bless them bless them Let's honor them as they go. Please rise up on your feet. We are going to pray for a few minutes. Hallelujah. We are about to pray for a few minutes. And I want our hearts to be open. Let's participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. When we pray, hear me, when we pray, we authorize heaven to step into our lives. Are we together? This is a miracle service and I want us to pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, please media help us. We're about to pray. We're about to pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. 
Jeremiah 33 verse 3 he says call on to me and I will answer call on to me and I will answer he says and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not call on to me you see prayer is a sign of humility because it's an indication that there is so much I do not know and there is so much I cannot do are we together prayer is a sign of humility when you call on God to step into your life it is because you acknowledge that he is able lift your voice in one minute and say Lord I know you are able lift your voice come on pray 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 we are praying please open your mouth and pray Lord, I believe you are able. That's why I'm here tonight. I believe you are able to heal that cancer, to heal that HIV. Lord, I believe that you are able to give me a new story. I acknowledge you, I recognize you as the mighty God. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare that every force tapping down my life, tapping down my destiny, Tying down my progress. You come under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shaba katala bakariala. Mambra katala kresata balaraba. Oh, come on, koinonia, are you praying? Lekete brekete lekoto shoparadaba. Every force. Shaba katala bakariala balaraba. Oh, you come under arrest tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I set before you this day blessing and cursing, life and death. But he says, I advise you, choose life so that you and your family will live. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. I make a decision. Tonight, I make a choice. Tonight, that I must leave this place free. I'd like you to open your mouth and mention the challenges that brought you here and say, I am determined. I make a decision. I make a decision. I make a decision. I make a decision. 
are you praying? Shabara katalaba, mambra katalakata. I make a decision. I make a decision. Please pray. Make sure you are praying. I make a decision. I must walk out of here healed tonight. I must walk out of here changed tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant orchestrated by darkness to keep me limited in life, to keep my family limited in life, Tonight, I declare that this is my night of victory. Lift your voice and cry, cry, cry. Cry unto the God of your salvation. They must be broken. They must be broken. I'm content. I'm content by faith. I'm content. I contend by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. I'd like you to pray and say, Every area that is not working, say it every area in my life that is not producing results. To now, you come under the influence of the anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Your finances may not be working. Your spiritual life may be working. You are praying your to a new dimension of grace. Shaba karada balada da 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 ba. I we declare your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to the instruction the Lord is giving me. Please listen. Let's walk together, guys. Please, let's walk together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to shout three times. Listen. Hallelujah. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is like I'm standing on top of this building and I'm seeing like a pot boiling but it's about to tilt. That's what I'm saying. And the Lord is telling me that at the third shout, we are going to shout once, shout two, by the third shout listen the first thing that will happen by the time we take that third shout 
there will be such an explosion of the power of God a mighty deliverance anointing and that's how we're going to start off tonight are we together it's called a healer it's a mystery it's a mystery that crumbles walls when they went round the walls of Jericho they shouted the instrumentalists everybody together hallelujah just be stupid enough to obey this instruction and watch the God of wonders do mighty things in your life you are shouting pain away you are shouting sickness away you are shouting captivity away hallelujah my goodness i'm telling you the power of god is so strong in this place mighty 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 i'm going to count three when i count three listen i want you to shout from the depth of your heart hallelujah and then the second time we are going to shout listen as surely as the god of heaven lives by the third shout in the name of the lord god whose i am and who has sent me the wonders that will happen in your life by this third shout is a mystery brothers and sisters how god operates are you ready one Two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, all those under the anointing, just bring them out. But really, it's from the third time. Are you ready for number two? We're shouting powers out of men's destinies were shouting thrones dominions that have tied down the lives of men are you ready one two three hallelujah now be sensitive oh i feel it on me here it comes that grace that unction that grace that unction by the third shout hear me angels will begin to move in dramatic ways there will be an eruption of the power of god inside and outside are you ready i make a decree in the realm of the spirit and i pray according to the word of the lord as we make this shout i command thrones i command dominions i command altars and everything tying the destinies of men to give way in the name of the lord jesus are you ready now one two three mighty things happening to men already i tell you it's like volcano that's what i see in the spirit falling on people falling on people you baby. prophetic the mantle of the prophetic 21 people 
that's what I see 21 people right now oh God in the name of Jesus wherever they are at the count of three let that mantle fall on them 21 one two three take it take it take it new wine take it prophetic mantle prophetic mantle Mantles, 21 people stepping into prophetic anointings by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I activate it. I activate it. I activate it. I stand under this apostolic anointing. I activate it. seen in the realm of the spirit Chains. this is a spirit of limitation lift your hands everyone I want to take authority over this spirit wherever you are inside and outside I like you to get ready if you are in this category something will happen to you let the sword of the spirit part those chains open are you ready I command the chains be broken now be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. There's a family God is liberating. A whole family. They are here. I'm seeing God touch them. Right now. Giving them miracles. hallelujah lift your voice in one minute and say lord speak to me speak to me send a word that will bring me hope send a word Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm hearing the name Memuna. We have to rush. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Is there someone with that name here? Memuna. That's what I'm hearing. Shabakoto Paratoya. Memuna. Outside. Who is that? Memuna, you are outside. Who is that? Come. Look at me. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm looking at you. Listen, look at me. You just came from somewhere here. Huh? Is there a, a mic? 
I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you enter transport and you are coming from Abuja to come here. Where did you come from? From Abuja. From Abuja. That's where you are coming. Because I look in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing you in a car and you came and I'm seeing you praying and asking God to visit you and visit your family. Is that why you are here? Yes. Your family. You were saying if only you come here, God will visit your family. And God is saying he's bringing a breakthrough to Memuna and her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I break that curse over your family by the power of the Holy Ghost. It lives forever. Lift your hands and give Jesus praise. Lift your hands and give Jesus praise. Lift your hands and give Jesus praise. Look at me. Please call the lady again. My dear, where is your mother? Huh? What's she doing? Huh? She's a civil servant. She's a civil servant. We have to pray because the devil wants to put sickness. She's complaining of pains in her body. She went to the hospital. Huh? She may not have told you. She went to the hospital last week and they said she should be careful because she's having problems with her back. Yes. Is that true? Yes. That's what the doctor said that she's having problems with her back. Yes. This is witchcraft. It's not just pain like that. Your mother cannot even watch for 10 minutes. Her yes. back will start paining yes. her. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for mama right now wherever she is. Let there be a supernatural miracle for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, can I talk to you please? Yes, that madam. That one with... Um, yes, please. Make sure you are praying. God is touching people. We just want to be fast. I wish we had time. No, no, no. You don't have to kneel down. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? From Jigawa. Jigawa State. Jigawa State. Yes. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a woman who has gone through pain and she's crying. And I'm wondering why are you going through all of this? Uh, some of them, I may not be able to say it here, but you were invited here. I'm with my sister. That's what I'm saying. Where is she? I'm seeing two people. Where is the sister? Come. Come and stand. Hold on. I'm hearing the Lord speak to me and saying there are two other people. Yes. There are two other people again yes. that you came with aside from you. Where are they? they, are, they are. Where are they? Two other people. Where are they? Please come and stand. I want to announce to you, all of you, that God will give you a testimony tonight that will surprise you. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe me. The things I see, I may not be able to tell you right now because um, one of you has a problem with your husband. I don't want to go into... Hold on. I, should I talk? Do you want me to talk? Calm down. Let me talk to you. You cannot. Let me talk. Madam, please look at me. Your husband needs deliverance. You believe what I'm saying? You love God. You are a sincere woman. But your husband needs deliverance. Huh? Where is he? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a woman crying. A man coming to vomit. Huh? Like I'm a vomit from drunkenness. And then this thing is telling on you. Huh? Are you a Christian? You love the Lord. I'm seeing you praying for this woman. Yes. Huh? Yes. That's yes, why I asked her, how do I know you are wearing something? I'm seeing you praying for her. Yes, In fact, sir. even when you stood there, you are saying that God should locate this woman yes, and sir. bless her. Yes, I'm hearing sir. your prayers. The Lord is ministering it to me and he's saying you should bless her. And the Lord God of heaven is saying he's going to bless her and bless you too. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Will you believe what I tell you? Why am I seeing you in a wedding gown? Are you married? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you in a wedding gown. Listen to me very carefully. And I'm seeing two men standing. Hold on. I'm seeing one man and I'm seeing another man. Yes, and the man is saying he married before this one. Yes. He comes to you in a dream. Yes, is that true? Yes, sir. This man I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Now don't be embarrassed. Yes, 
this has affected your marriage stand up it's time to deliver you because i'm seeing you get married and i'm seeing two men your real husband and another one in the realm of the spirit he comes to you in a dream but the lord is saying i should set you free hello him you reign you reign you reign showing me a lady you left the hospital this morning your mother is in the hospital it's part of the reasons why you came here please who is that your mother you left her in the hospital and you came here please when you get that person let me pray for her because God wants to do a miracle I want to pray for you the Bible says what God has joined let no man put asunder God did not join you on any spirit entity and he's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus be free let her go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit madam please look at me your husband needs deliverance his own money finishes on friend and friends and beer is that true is that true, it's true. because I'm seeing him not only drink but buying for his friends and they finish the entire money you are a very kind woman but the truth is he's not giving you even one naira you don't even get money from him but the lord is going to be changing things now let me tell you how it will change it will look as if it's getting worse but you watch and see what god is going to be doing you believe that yes i'm going to pray for you father in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle there is a woman from Katsina. There is a woman from Katsina. A woman from Katsina. That's what I'm seeing. A woman, you are outside. You didn't cover your hair. You are from Katsina. Where is that person? Is there someone like that, please? Where is that person? Why are you clapping? Where is the person? Please come. From Katsina. Look at me. Stand up, stand up, madam. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Look at me. The Lord is saying I should quote a scripture for you. When the Lord again shall turn your captivity, He says you'll be like them that day. Madam, you have cried enough in this miracle service. The God of heaven is about to wipe your tears. Mary. Mary. Who is Mary? Mary. Mary. I know there are many Marys. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let me call the Mary. The Mary is in this row. Mary, you are seated here. No, 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 no. At the back, you are wearing a dark cloth. Right here. You didn't cover your head. The Mary is in. Not like, I don't know if it's a dark cloth. Like it has flower. It's a gown. It's a gown. Straight down. Gown, not gown with skirt. Is there someone like that? Mary, this row. The angel of the Lord is there. Is it a gown or someone? I'm seeing something with flower. Is there someone like that? Please find out. Mary, I need to talk to that person. I need to talk to that person. You're the one? Okay. Well, come, I'll talk to you. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Akwaibo. You are from Akwaibo? I stayed in Katsina. I know. Are you married? Yes. Where is your husband? It's in Katsina. I have to pray for you. God wants to give you breakthrough. My goodness, lift your hands. I'm telling you, I just saw like a wind and the Lord said they are angels. Watch what happens in the congregation right now. Angels, 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 angels bringing impartation to people. I just saw like a wind in the spirit. Angels cutting away things. That's what I'm seeing. Angels cutting away things from people. They are removing things in people's bodies that's what i see like a slimy substance leaving people this is breakthrough breakthrough god is giving people breakthrough hallelujah ma let me pray for you what do you do ma 
Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm looking at this woman. Don't be afraid. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm looking at you. Where is Kasham? I'm looking at you, Ma. And I'm seeing her name on your head. And I was wondering, and the Lord, no, 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 no. Hold on. Come. Come. I'm looking at this woman and, and I'm seeing the name of this lady, Kasham, on her head. And I thought your name is Kasham, but the Lord told me it's not Kasham. The, what she's practicing is what you are now. What, what are you doing? I'm a nurse. What are you doing? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That's what God is telling me. Because I'm looking at you and I saw her name written on your head. And the Lord said I should call her and make... See, this is not diabolic. Hosea chapter 12. It says, I have spoken to you by the prophet. I have multiplied visions. He said, I have spoken to you in similitudes. This is not jamboree. We have a lot of things to do. God is locating people and... When he's doing it for one, he's doing it for many people. Time will not allow for everybody to be called, but I just want you to believe. Believe in what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason why you are here. Ma, I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing the Lord promoting you and lifting you. You believe that? If God grants grace, you will return and testify. Hold my hands, ma. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God of heaven promote you and lift you right now in the name of Jesus. Ma, I want to pray for you. Where are you from, please? I'm from Anambra, but I'm from Jigawa. I want to pray for you. What do you do? I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. You are a nurse too. Yes. I want to pray for you. The devil wants to put sickness in your body. And this is not a nice, this is not something I will even say. The devil wants to put it in your body, but will take authority over it right now. Please hold my hands, man. In the name of Jesus, Lord, he will fortify her. I, I command that spirit to leave you right now. Out! The devil wants to put sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma, look at me. The pain is living and you are going free. You have cried. I have, I'm seeing a woman who has cried. But God is stepping in. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. Lord, the grace that makes things happen. May that grace bring this woman out of pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Come, stand here. I want to pray. There's bad luck in your family. Huh? Serious bad luck. Where's your father? Quara State. Quara State. I'm seeing a man in Quara State just going around in circles, not even doing anything meaningful. We have to pray. It's one thing to move physically, but it's another thing for your life to move too. Huh? And I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus. Please be very serious with the Lord. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka. Emeka. I'm hearing the name of someone. Emeka. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle for you. Let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus. Emeka, the Lord is ministering to me. I'm hearing the name of someone, Emeka. The Lord is giving you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka, you are outside. I'm seeing two Emeka coming. I tell you, I see like a screen. One, you have beard. One, you are wearing white. Elohim, you reign, you reign, you reign. Elohim, you reign. I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. Don't be, I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. The devil wants to destroy your life. We have to pray for you. Sir, look at me. What do you do? You are a student. I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus and the hand of God is upon your life. Huh? It's not just an ambition for business, but the anointing of God is in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir, I need to pray for you. I need to pray for you and destroy something that wants to kill you. Huh? So it's just a simple prayer. I'll pray for you. Don't be afraid. 
I'm not, I'm, we are not prophesying doom. You get what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that thing to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness, it leaves you right now. Sir, hold my hands. I pray that the anointing of the Spirit will come upon your life right now. Step into a new level of grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's not by power, it's not by might. I bring an anointing to your life that takes you to a new dimension. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a lady who is going to shout under the anointing. Just carry her like that and bring her to me. There is a word. No, it's inside here. It's not outside. Right here. Carry her like that and bring her. It's a message. Just carry her like that and bring her. This is what I see in the realm of the spirit. As she's lying down like this, that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. And I'm hearing Ezekiel 2, verse 2. It says, And the spirit entered me and set me upon my feet. The Lord is bringing not just deliverance to you and your family but the lord is bringing i'm hearing the word restoration and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you receive it in the name of jesus it comes upon you by the power of the holy spirit please bring this lady for me just just carry her carefully if she can please lift your voice and pray and say lord visit me in the name of the lord jesus christ I break every hole you have with her life in the name of Jesus I'm looking at a lady in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a spirit wearing a crown and the Lord is saying he's removing that crown that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit this is a lady who loves God but I see her connected to things that have to do with marine powers and I'm seeing the lady with a crown and the Lord is taking it in the name of Jesus Christ I command freedom right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I command freedom right now be free go let her go now by the blood of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands I want to pray before we pray for the sick there's something the Lord is showing me please I like you to lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do lift your hands the power of God is going to come on certain people I'm seeing deliverance in families this is not just you you are standing for your loved ones I'm seeing mighty deliverance is happening in families and the Lord is saying one more time we should shout that name Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus as we shout Jesus I like you to shout all your heart at the count of three the moment you do that I see deliverance coming to families and what they could not do in many years will be done within one month what they could not do in many years will be done within one month in the name of Jesus one two three right now deliverance 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 Shakataba. families I command it inside and outside inside and outside deliverance what could not be done in 10 years in 10 years it will be done in one month what could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month what could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month hallelujah self time in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus every door stopping me from entering the next level right now I command that door broken lift your voice and begin to pray pray yourself to the next dimension doors are opening pray inside and outside Doors are opening.
doors are opening doors are opening hallelujah 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 listen many of you may not understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit but you see the presence of God is where change happens in the life of men just like this you will walk out and you will see things happen in your life just like this there are chains that tie men there are chains that hold down destinies there are chains please bring this lady for me yes this lady just this very lady just bring her I keep the chains falling hey, I keep the chains 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 there is power in the name of Jesus deliverance is coming for you there is power in the name of Jesus there is power Hallelujah. Uh, Jimmy, the Lord is giving me a word. I saw an eagle flying, and the eagle came and entered you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's restoring to you the spirit of prophecy. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. He's restoring to you. I saw an eagle fly, and it entered you. And the Lord is saying he's restoring the spirit of prophecy. 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 Hallelujah. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing people carry load. And God is saying I should bring down that load. Lift your hands. Lord, where are they carrying loads that do not belong to them? right now at the count of three let that load come off you right now one two three right now right now right now anyone carrying any load every load every load every load every load every load every load that is not of god Every load that is not of God. Every load that is not of God must leave you. Must leave you. Must leave you. Must leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we are going to be very fast. Hallelujah. I was walking and the Lord said I should go back. Praise the Lord. Please don't mind me just allow me do what the Lord is saying and the Lord is saying I should walk right here outside right and go outside please hear me and the Lord is saying as I walk for every road that I pass if there is a spirit holding your destiny it must leave you please believe me shake Karababa. I lift my hands right now right now as I'm passing the anointing of the spirit is touching people destroying yokes destroying yokes destroying yokes right now destroying yokes from my left and my right destroying yokes any spirit tying down any man's destiny right now 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 
right now every spirit every spirit every spirit every spirit now listen to me those outside don't be afraid it will not rain but watch this lift your hands i'm going to walk this way and the power of the holy ghost you are enduring this rain as i walk through any spirit tie your life must give way right now are you ready right now right now right now right now right now i release everybody from bondage 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 right now i stretch my hands i stretch my hands i stretch my hands right now i stretch my hands i stand by an anointing as i pass your role any devil tying you will let you go right now as i pass your role as i pass as I, oh, as I pass your rope, as I pass your rope, now, right? Every spirit, every spirit responsible for your limitation you are enduring the rain you cannot go back the same I came out to join you hallelujah please make sure you pray I'm moving around we are going to pray for you. Please lift your hands. Make sure you are praying. There's no spirit that will stand. Hallelujah. As many who can come in, don't worry. Just push them in. I know it will be a bit stuffy, but push as many people everywhere and let's pray we have to hurry up just push them as many there are some who may not be able to do much but then we are praying we are praying say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every power holding me say it again in the name of Jesus every power holding my breakthrough tonight your time is up go 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 lift your voice and pray pray every power every force Hallelujah. Now, hold on. I know that there are so many people coming in. Just give them room to come in. Just make every adjustment. Not all may be able to come in. But it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. We want to pray for the sick now. Now, please be careful so we don't have people marching on people. Hallelujah. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who came trusting God for healing, now is your time. Please walk with the protocol, walk with the ushers. I'm going to ask you to come out and stand here. Don't match the people in front. While they are doing that, ushers, begin to pass your prayer request. Begin to pass your prayer request. There are miracles in the name of Jesus there are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain 
break every chain. Power to break every chain. Break every chain. I sense a strong healing anointing. A strong healing anointing entering this building. Break every chain. 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 Hallelujah. Now we're going to minister to the sick. Please hear me. No matter what the situation is, as you stand right here, I want you to believe God for healing. You've heard the testimonies of people. You've seen the things that God is doing in this place. Don't make the place rowdy. Just be orderly as we pray for you. Just a touch and you return back. We may not have the time to take testimonies. Hallelujah. Please say to me, you will join me. Where's Pastor Jakes? I'm glad to have them around and they'll make this work easy. The anointed people, as we pray for you, I want you to believe God for healing. The moment you are prayed for, as you walk back to your seat, do what you couldn't do before. Don't just sit down and hope you are healed. The Bible says they came to hear and to be healed. They came to hear and to be healed. Everyone lift your hands in one minute and pray and say every sickness in my body is time for you to go. Every incurable disease. Go ahead and pray. Every incurable disease. You are living. Hallelujah. Worship team, you help us while we minister Pastor Jakes. Watch me please. We are going to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to believe in the God that heals. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Don't just be whiling away time. Drop your prayer request and be praying. Pray in the Spirit. And say, Lord, you are going to visit me. To break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, this I consider these sessions to be the most powerful. I know that you have to be a man of the spirit to understand all these things, the word of knowledge, ministering to the sick is very important but sincerely there is only so much are we together there's only so much there are thousands of people here and there is only so much you can see this represents the prayer request of so many people and there are so many others um, online and this is when we get to give God chance to reveal himself as a God of wonders hallelujah our time is spent but I want you to make sure that you participate we are going to pray on this right now and then afterwards um, I'm going to prophesy over our lives then we'll take a few announcements and we'll be done I want you to maximize the night so that you don't go back and return the same hallelujah before I pray I, I want if you can rise please rise those on, under the anointing that's alright and then mothers with children that's alright but the rest of us, please, let's rise and take this very seriously. We're going to be praying right now. When Pastor Jakes and Ejimi are done, they can come and join us. We'll pray. Pastor Godwin, where are you? Please, can you come and join us? Um, we're going to pray. I'd like you to stretch your hands here. And in one minute, pray like your life depends on it. And say the same way I have dropped this that's how I've dropped every challenge in my life I like you to pray please pray koinonia open your mouth inside outside online please join us we're going to lay our hands prophetically on this request as we lay our hands on them we're releasing the power of God to every home 
to every territory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Make sure you pray from the depth of your heart. Father, we agree with you. We agree with you. All kinds of miracles, impossible situations. Make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayers. Let fire fall on this request to God. Shakata prakata kata kata. Rekata kata 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 Visit individuals, visit families. Strange miracles. Strange miracles. shall not arise again the second time. Allah, do taka boba baba shota inga dua ika tula katia mama makada dusa ika deda baba inka. It is done. It is done, says the Spirit of God. It is done. Oh, glory be to God. Go ahead and rejoice and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift your hands and receive the prophecy. This is where God is going to be changing lives. Hallelujah. Your destiny can change overnight because one word was received. Prophecy does not only reveal, it creates. This is where everybody gets to participate in the service take it high guys inside outside this is where I want you to believe you will rise in his name I don't know you reign you will in your name, I don't you reign. You will rise in His name. I don't Hallelujah. Three weeks ago. I had a very serious encounter with God and the Lord told me something he said I have put my word in your mouth as you speak it I will make it happen that's what the Lord told me please I want you to believe it oh blessed is she that believes don't sit down and doubt and waste your time there is a spiritual dimension to life it's not just I have taught you principles Believe me when I tell you there is a spiritual dimension. Gates 
and doors over the lives and the destinies of men. I pray every gate that must be open right now I speak to you Efata be open now 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 that chain tying any man's destiny tying the speed of your progress you are moving but you are not making impact right now I release upon you an auction for speed an auction take it an auction for speed an auction for speed the Bible says and the hand of the Lord please help them the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah he gathered his loins and ran on barefoot he overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I don't know what you have done from January to now but I prophesy from now till the end of June do what you have not done in five years shake it, 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 it. do what you have not done in five years do what you have not done in five years hallelujah Jacob dug a well and they covered it. They dug another one. They covered it. They dug the third one and they left it and they called it Rehoboth. They said God has given us our space. Where you have been begging for relevance it's like there is no place for you in life. It's like there is no place. I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Take your place in life. Take your place in destiny. Take your place in ministry. Take your place in destiny. Take your place in ministry. Ay, 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 ay. Whatever has covered your glory, whatever has covered your glory, I stand tonight. I invoke the powers of the heavens and I command let your glory be released now be released now be released now anyone here called jobless between now and the next two months I don't care what is the reason but I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives we give you a job here now we give you a job here now. We give you a job here now. It says to appoint unto them that morning Zion. Listen, there are some of us, you are making progress, but no help in your life. You fight for everything by yourself. You pay for everything by yourself. When you are in trouble, there's nobody to speak for you at the gates. Where are your helpers? Who stopped them from entering your life? Who said it must be this hard? I go down on my knees. I call your helpers by prophecy in the name of Jesus. From the north to the south to the east to the west. From the north to the south to the east to the west. From the north to the south, to the east, to the west, receive of their ministry. Listen, let me tell you, there is nothing more tragic as having no helper. No man can stand alone. You need voices to speak to you at the gates of destiny. You need men to endorse you and say, help him. You can't have to explain yourself to everybody. Who is speaking for you? 
I pray again whoever must appear in your life from now till June business help us financial help us marital help us career help us I call you forth I call you forth hallelujah listen lift your hands there are some of you your dreams and visions used to be opportunities for intense revelation where God will show you secrets it made your life easy till something shot you from visions and dreams I pray every dead dream life every dead manifestation of visions like a mantle receive restoration now restoration of dreams prophetic dreams visions prophetic vision hallelujah please stretch your hands towards me please stretch your hands towards me the hands of a man represent your responsibility represents your wisdom represents your agency for bread i pray for you whatever has mocked the creativity of your hands so that your potentials are underutilized isaiah 48 verse 17 i am the lord that teaches thy hands to profit i pray the grace that makes your hand productive take it now take it now take it now take it now the grace that makes your hand multiply take it now everything called barren in your destiny physical barrenness spiritual barrenness academic barrenness career barrenness right now I cause the spirit of barrenness from his root and I command be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful hallelujah lift your hands in the next one minute I want us to pray because everyone will receive something listen listen what we're all receiving is an upgrade of grace listen he said grace be multiplied grace and peace be multiplied the grace upon a man's life can multiply should multiply must multiply there are three things that happen to you when god lifts you one he multiplies your grace two he adds to your responsibility three he increases your territory of influence both spiritually and physically i pray for you lift your hands some of us you have not backslidden but you've not risen beyond certain levels you have stayed there at a level everything that is alive grows please i want you to receive i told you this meeting will have impartations the impartation is not falling on the ground and rolling impartation is receiving something tangible in your spirit hallelujah Paul said I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift he said to the end that he be established I pray for you lift your hands every grace that is dormant in your life every grace that is useful but it has stayed at a level and is made no matter how you try to rise it stands there in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic office I pray for you may that grace be upgraded now receive it receive it take it an upgrade of favor an upgrade of wisdom an upgrade of power 
fire power fire fire prayer fire what fire prayer fire what fire an upgrade of supernatural wisdom an upgrade of access access to men of influence I pray for you listen what your current level of grace could not bring you into I empower you to go back and conquer that realm oh let me repeat what I'm saying there are levels in life and there are graces that are like keys you can get to a level and be stuck there no matter what kind of deliverance you can stay there because graces are like flights they can take you beyond certain levels some of us just need a little upgrade to overcome the obstacles you have tried prayer has brought you so far i pray for you whatever dimension must be added so that you can fly like the eagle that you are receive that dimension now receive that dimension now receive that dimension now hallelujah the bible says and you shall be called with a new name which the mouth of the lord shall speak it says you shall be called hefziba and Bula, a well desired land i pray for you everything that makes people run away from you they plan to help you but when they come they change their mind they plan to bless you but when they see you they consider what they are about to sow there is a spirit that cut short breakthroughs i pray for you in the name of jesus i pray the blessing that was prophesied he said to jacob the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed that aura that attracts favor receive it right now receive it right now whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered let me say it again whoever vowed and said it is through his dead body you will rise I said may that prayer be answered listen the Bible says in five things the Lord will deliver you he said yes six he will deliver you from the scourging tongues of men it was a revelation that was given Job that men stay and use their tongues to trap the destinies of men I pray for you whoever has used his tongue like a net to trap your life I release you right now I release you right now I release you right now hallelujah the kind of finances your hands has not touched I pray for you between now and the end of this month may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes anyone here marked for death that death is eyeing you waiting for the day you will get on the road waiting for the day a bike will come close to you to kill you and take your life i pray for you in the name of jesus we forbid the earth from receiving your body we forbid the earth from receiving your body there are five elements i'm rounding up that are the conduits through which the supernatural finds expression on earth five elements all through scripture the supernatural cannot manifest on earth without the instrumentality of these five elements number one is light god is light the entrance of thy word give it light let there be light number two water the fish and the birds of the air in genesis came out of water water represents abundance number three fire hallelujah it's a mysterious instrument not threatened by any other element yet refines every other number four wind the mystery of sound 
the mystery that takes sounds and realities he said I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound that sound came back in Acts chapter 2 a sound hallelujah and the last element is the earth the prophet said O earth hear ye the word of the Lord he said for from dust thou art and to dust thou shalt return hear me I want to pray just one deep mystery for you the earth is a universal point of contact every man makes contact with it for you to be alive you must make contact with the earth your feet must touch the ground your helper's feet is touching this ground you are touching no 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 no. it's not amen it's a mystery the office where you are to be employed is on this ground it's not in the air hear me please the bank that holds the favor you are looking for has contact with this earth and the prophet said oh earth you are a living thing you are not just stones hallelujah are we together hmm. it says they will not be able to oppress you because you have made a covenant with the stones i pray for you whoever wants to disfavor you just like the stars fought for deborah may the earth fight for you May the earth fight for you. Quarter to shame. May a mystery manifest that you don't understand to bail you out. Listen. When men say let's see what will become of him. I pray a mystery. My goodness. Another way. May God bring another mystery. And deliver you. In the name of Jesus. The heat and the turmoil in Nigeria. We love our nation. We pray for them. And we pray sincerely. Out of a sense of nationhood. But I pray for you. The mystery of exemption. That can exempt a man. It says for when men say there is a casting down. For you you will say there is a lifting up. I prophesy a lifting up. Regardless of the recession. This is still your year of multiplied grace. And grace. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give God thanks. Thank him sincerely. Lord, we thank you for your word. Listen, I want you to go back realizing what happened to you. Don't be like the man who looks at himself at the mirror and leaves and forgets. These prophecies have come upon you like a mantle. You enforce them in the place of prayer. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breka teke nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.